Bullshit, fellas. Like, that's really how they was motherfucking flirting. Footsie. F fucking footsie. Like, who the fuck just thought to do that? <laughs> like, hey, let me goddamn rub this bitch foot real quick. It was a sign, man. And, right. see if she <laughs> and see if she look up at me and, and like this shit. All the niggas who play footsies got foot fetishes now. <laughs> they suck toes. <laughs> Like, yo, if I rub her foot my, with my foot the right way, she gonna let me fuck later. <laughs> That's it. it but the shit fuck. was working. You was gonna get a kiss later, at least. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You already know. You couldn't play with each other's genitals back then, so. Why the fuck not? I mean, because you across the table yeah, from her, that's so what I'm it's different. Yeah, so. You do that when y'all in the booth at the restaurant. Next that's what I'm saying. Now, now that you're adults, you reach across the table or under the table with your finger. Like, that's what happens. Yo, 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 we back. Another week, another episode of BYOB the podcast. Shout out to everybody getting fingered at the table. Yo. <laughs> I'm about that life. That's fire. I mean, I feel like if you on a date, you should get, she should get fingered anywhere. Under the table, in the movies. Ain't nothing better than being out with your girl. Y'all go out and get drunk somewhere, and y'all start fucking around in the car on the way home. That's when you get some good I've head. definitely pulled over a couple times. Oh, no, I'm getting some head on the ride home. <laughs> you don't even make it upstairs to the room. You just fucking living room when you walk in. <laughs> Shit, sometimes I don't even make it in the house. We fucking in this driveway in that. the car. With all that. So <laughs> Yeah, we back. <laughs> we are back. Yo, this has been a crazy fucking um two weeks. Week. However long it's been. It's been nah, a crazy amount of fucking time. That'd be in and out of <laughs> life. <laughs> I don't keep track of time no more. Time doesn't yeah. exist. You keep it's talking to me crazy, you're gonna be in and out of life. Time is man. But you're gonna be ain't no more in. It sounds good. As, <laughs> as, just I continue, as I continue to ignore him. <laughs> you just gonna be out of life. Time don't time doesn't exist. I do what the fuck I wanna do. What the fuck are you Gandhi now? Time Facts. doesn't time doesn't exist. It doesn't. I said that shit years ago on Twitter and everybody looked at me like I was crazy, as they always do when I say shit on Twitter. This nigga this nigga's on his Umar Johnson shit, man. <laughs> that, that was a nigga name I couldn't remember. <laughs> Dr. Umar Johnson. I knew who you was talking about. I just ain't feel like talking about that nigga. Hey, <laughs> like this nigga was, was sitting in a car and Y'all niggas kind of favorite. And y'all both from Philly. Y'all niggas might watch be him out. He's from Philly. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know that much about him. That's sad. <laughs> watch Philly niggas because they will scam the shit out of you, and that's probably what he doing. Yo, I saw this video of this nigga sitting in a car and apparently People have been sending him PayPal and shit like that. So the girl sent a couple of dollars. He was like, thank you for your donation, but next time send more. Oh, yeah, I seen that He's shit. He's wild. He was like, yo, thank you for the 15, but you should have sent 20. Yeah. <laughs> you can't help black people out, especially black people from Philly. All that nigga would have seen from me at the top is someone is disputing this cash Fact. app. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Dis call my bank. Disputing this trans cash app transaction. Definitely call my bank. Not playing with you. Well, yeah, he's from North Philly, bro, so... And he from around the way. God damn, that's just even worse. Y'all niggas related. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I'm, my last name is not Johnson. <laughs> yeah. I don't have no Johnsons in my family, so I'm good. Y'all niggas related. But it makes sense why you do the shit that he do now. <laughs> it all it all makes sense. Because he a Philly yeah. man. Yeah. Niggas been falling for it, too. That's cool. Yeah, man. Damn, I don't even know where we start at. Where, should we, where, where the fuck should we start, man? Oh, uh, music, man. I like the music that came out recently. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely starting with music because it ain't really a lot of sports shit that happened this this week. Other than me continuing to lose in betting. Look, yeah. it's not that I'm losing in betting. I'm you losing, ain't bet on us, did you? I'm losing in my parlays. You ain't bet on the Tar Heels at, at any point, did you? <laughs> I hate the Tar Heels. I'm a Duke man. fan, so I knew what time it man, was. Man, fuck you and fuck Duke and fuck that game last night. I mean, y'all lost like you were supposed to. It happens. That shit was trash. Yeah, because y'all were in it. No, all our all our star players are hurt. I mean, they didn't. Y'all don't have any star players. That's not the fucking point. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> the star players that we could have had. We might see y'all next year. We hurt. probably won't. Y'all might make the NIT. Y'all probably not even gonna make the NIT tournament. Damn, y'all not gonna be in a tournament no, this year. That's you know wild. the fucked up thing in college. Like, ain't no incentive to tank. It's not. Y'all just, <laughs> yeah. just awfully bad. Like, ain't no draft to look forward to or nothing. Like. If you tanking, you suck. Like you might fuck around and lose. <laughs> lose on the Tar Heels not even re yeah, they're not even raising their draft stocks for the Tar Heels. Like, like you just losing out on prospects and shit. So you just you just gonna be all the way out the fucking loop. It happens. Too not to Duke, but it happens. Not yet. Never. Y'all have had some bad seasons. Yeah, it's never, not like never, not like this never, one this that we bad. had. Never that bad. Yeah. Not like the shit we having this year. But y'all have had some bad fucking I mean, seasons. We're well, in jeopardy of not making the NIT tournament. That shit is bad. Yeah, you got sound drops now. 
That was an accident. Oh, I thought this nigga got flex bombs on me. <laughs> so we really upgrading in life with the podcast. That's what we oh, need. Oh, I'm going to learn. I'm going to get them shits. Yeah, Joe Button don't got the horns and shit. We need all that shit. We're going to get that. Yeah, but you know where they got it from. The, all the, like if you you don't listen to sports radio, do you? Yeah. That, all the, dog, them they sound bombs. They sound oh, yeah. drops is crazy. Yeah, they are. Like I don't think nobody sound drops is fucking with sports radio. No. Like I don't even know where they get half of the fucking sound bites they get yeah, from. Ask me if I listen to sports radio. I got a Vegas gambling <laughs> channel on my cable subscription. <laughs> but dog, a lot of <laughs> niggas don't listen to like they watch eat, they watch it all day. They on the app all day, but like the actual radio station. <laughs> Bro, if guess you, what I smoke, nigga. If you die on camera, we're going viral. Guess what I smoke. <laughs> if you die on camera, we're going viral. Don't I'm hit not, me for none of it because I don't sell it. But I'm, I'm not deleting none of this shit. If you're, wanna, if you're around, you want to smoke one day. <laughs> uh, we said we started with music. We kind of faded into sports. But yeah, music, man. Yeah, um, yeah, man. So I don't know where to start because there's so much shit that happened. You know, let's start with this, this sad, sad, sad news, man. Sad news for hip hop. Hip hop is, is they're losing. I just know because I don't even know what he's talking about, y'all. But I know it's about to be some bullshit. What are you talking we, about, y'all? We have some some very somber news for 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 the hip hop fan base. No, nobody died or nothing. Let me let me. Uh, <laughs> let me we're let not me. we're not those kind of trolls. We troll a yeah, lot. Yeah, let me let me let that be known ahead of time before I get into it. But it's very sad news, and you know, it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna <sighs> your album drop be heard. Yo, fuck you. <laughs> Y'all dropped, he dropped his album. God All right, y'all, that's the dude. show. Fuck, fuck it. We gonna go ahead and go ahead and cancel the show this week. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't have time for this shit. Like, he ain't dropped this album. It is a sad day of hip hop. Shout out to y'all. I saw y'all dropping something too, though. So you gonna shoot? Shout out the nigga that don't even rap. Like, yo, this is a hostile work environment. I don't think I should, I, I can't do this shit. No we don't more. have an HR department. <laughs> nigga, I, me. I am the I am the HR department, bitch. <laughs> No, what, what, what was the sad news you were going to tell us about? Giles is actually a good rapper, y'all. Thank you. Just put that out there. Now I see how Joe Button be feeling. Because they be clowning that nigga on his shit. And they should. <laughs> and they should. And that nigga's nice. He's nice. Yeah, but these jokes still going to fly. Yeah. But um, Young Dolph is retiring from, <laughs> from music, bro. Bro, that shit is not funny, man. <laughs> You have to, <laughs> you have to rap long enough to retire, B. It's been about five years. I can retire from my job. I've been on my day job 10, seven years, so I can retire. Bro, how many years is ten thousand hours? I don't care if Dolph put in ten thousand hours. He's still not a master at <laughs> his craft. Dolph can put in twenty thousand. Dolph is why is Dolph retiring? He wants to spend more time with his family. So you got to retire to spend time with your family. I mean, this has publicity stunt written all over it. How many niggas have retired before? Jay Z's retired seven times. Wayne's retired. Nobody gives a fuck about Dolph retiring. I mean, nigga, just stop making music. In Hov's defense, like nobody ever wanted Hov to retire when he was about to retire, and nobody cares that Young Dolph is retiring now. He's retiring. There are a couple niggas in Memphis who are who are mad. Um, I know Khalid is gonna be mad. Don't hate me, Kalita, but nobody gives a fuck that Young Dolph is retiring. Yeah, if you so, said Yo Gotti was retiring, I might have been like, "Damn, that's fucked up." Like, that's wild. But yeah, no. So at first, he uh, he posted, um, "Highly considering quitting music because I really want to be with my kids twenty four seven. And then on Wednesday, like two days after he posted that on the Instagram, he said, "I'm done doing music, so I can kick it with my son." He got caught cheating. <laughs> Nigga, what? That's what happens. You get caught cheating. You gotta be an A game. You gotta stay at home. You gotta be the best father. Become ever. A family yeah, man. You gotta be a family man. <laughs> that nigga got caught cheating. I know the script. I mean, I I've never cheated, so I don't I don't know how that shit no, goes. I know the script. How you retire from something that don't have a retirement plan? Like nigga, this ain't the Navy. You don't you don't get a four hundred one k. There's no pension for this. You just you quit. I should probably go ahead and just leave that shit unplugged, right? Yeah, you should probably do that. <laughs> that shit. Laptop dying? Nah. It's, oh. it's at 54. We good. But, yeah, so, I mean, I think he'll be back. But, no, I mean, you know, he's still going to be running his label and no, shit. No. Do y'all don't give a fuck that Young Dolph is retiring, do you? 
People fuck with Dolph. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fuck with some of Dolph music too. Like that hundred shot shit after his car got shot up in Charlotte. Like that whole album that he came out with. I thought the whole concept about the album was fire. The way he named the track listing and all that. Like I thought I fuck with Dolph music, but if Dolph never dropped another mixtape or Dolph never dropped another album, I wouldn't have sat back three years and been like, "Damn, Dolph ain't dropping no music in three years." Yeah. I did do that with Rich Homie Quan though. I was like, yo, my nigga ain't dropping no music. Quan was fire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Quan was fire. My nigga ain't dropping no music in a minute. Quan was on fire when he just he just stopped. Nah, he still, you know, you know how the politics of shit go. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? He dropped some shit some months back. Ryan Leslie. I did Ryan Leslie the same way. Well, okay. see, Ryan Leslie different. He kind of he I did found out that he didn't stop making music. He just started distributing his music differently. Yeah, he only distributes it to the people that want it. Yeah, and it's on you can only <laughs> like, get it from his site. Yeah, like he don't <coughs> no iTunes, no album, no fucking if Pandora. You like for it, which I think is a dope concept. You make and pay I mean he music. lets you and he lets you pay what you want to pay. It's like the proud to pay shit, but you, you can pay fucking two dollars or you can pay thirteen. I didn't know that or some shit like that. Some, some shit that. I seen him say on the Breakfast Club. So I would go donate to Ryan Leslie because Ryan yeah. Leslie had bangers. And this nigga would this nigga used to fly instruments out. Just for a bridge on the song. Yeah, dedication. <laughs> this nigga was it's dedication. I'm not that this dedicated. This nigga was flying out African horns and shit just for a, a 30 second loop on a song. Let me tell you, I am not that dedicated to shit in life other than my son. Only <laughs> thing I'm flying out is some. Put- anyway, um. <laughs> hey, let's talk about that real quick. Because I'm not flying out. All right. So I'd rather go see the shorty. And, and that's the conversation that we had with yeah. my homegirl the other day. Like, I'm not flying you out the first time. I'll fly to you. Yeah. I'll pay for my hotel room. You ain't got to worry about none of that. But Because if shit don't go right, mm, I'm going to kick you out. Yeah. I'm going to be mad if I fly you out and I don't get no pussy. Because it don't matter how much you talk about giving up the pussy or how much you talk about getting pussy or y'all yeah. fucking each other. She can get here and change her mind, which is cool. Ladies, you have that yeah. right. Absolutely. I'm and, still going to be mad. I also had the right to be pissed off about it. <laughs> no, you know the crazy shit, though? They always... Um, they always want to do that. Like, they going to fuck the shit out of a nigga and da-da-da-da-da. They get there and they want to get to know you better. Yeah. Which, which again, is completely yeah, right. No, we, yeah, we, we are not those people. I got I got sisters, bro. And I'm, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't want it to sound like that's a bad thing. But he also has the right to feel a certain type of way if that's how you feel. You can't tell somebody how to feel. So so just be clear with your, um, be clear with your intentions. So I'd rather fly out to you, to the lady, and, and kick it with her. In that worst case scenario, if shit go left, even though intentions do change, let yeah, me, let me and they let do. me say that too. They do. Shit happens. Like <laughs> let me say that too. Because sometimes, sometimes you get around the person yeah. in life, the vibe ain't right. The person say some off the wall. Like shit happens. So yeah, let me say that too. But yeah, um, but if shit go left like that, I'd rather be in another city where I can be like, all right, fuck it, I'm just going to enjoy myself. Yeah, that makes me less of a dirtbag than me having to kick you out my place and cancel your return flight. Because if I kick you out, I'm definitely canceling the return flight. But you on your own. Yeah, if if I get to the point of kicking you out, yeah, you're on your own. Like yeah. You on your own. I mean, so, I don't know if I kick her out just for me not getting no pussy. No, it wouldn't be that reason. No, it <laughs> but would, it might be that reason. Nah, no, but, be no, because with that though, most times like that causes bigger shit. No, I'm gonna tell you if like if, argument wise, it's different if there were discussions prior to about fucking. Yeah. If there's no conversations about sex and you're just expecting it to happen and you don't get any, <laughs> I wouldn't put her out of her shit like that. But if we've been nah. talking about fucking for months. Like how great you! You done sent dick. me yeah. nudes. I'm expecting yeah. we done been on Facetime. You pulling the titties yeah. out, showing me the. <laughs> and then you get here and you're like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh, okay, well that's cool. Just don't not do that at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Go not do that shit somewhere else. No, but the way social media is set up, she probably already got like three, four niggas in your city that she can go kick it with. That's great. She should <laughs> always have a backup plan. No, because I definitely have a backup plan if I'm coming to you oh, every time. But yeah, and the and the crazy shit. Even on top of that, like sad story for these niggas that this has happened to. And if you one of them, <laughs> but um. <laughs> I've heard, of, me, bitch. I've heard of niggas flying chicks out and her bouncing on the nigga to go like the whole time. Like to go kick it with the nigga that she really wanted to. No, oh, all right. That's cool. <laughs> that shit fucked up. That, that, that Again, I cancel return flights. And the loss of money is just going to be the loss of money. If I yeah. can't get nothing out of it, it's just a loss of money. Nah, like, see, if you book with the right uh, agency, you don't, it ain't a loss of money. Yeah. They just put that shit towards the next, the next flight. Yeah, another flight. It's I'm a credit. Fly, I'm going to fly the next bitch out. <laughs> It's just another credit. Let me make it clear. I'm not flying bitches out. I don't have 
I ain't got it. And if I did have it, I still like no, I'm good. But yeah, um, unless we've been fucking. Mm. Stop taking people on vacation that you don't plan on that you're not already fucking. And we, I think we've addressed that before. Unless y'all going on a platonic vacation and that's just what it is, and uh, what the fuck is a platonic vacation? No, I'm saying like you going with like a friend, like oh yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like you know, just your homie or something. Yeah, but yeah, good. nah, like a date, a vacation date. Yeah, yeah I'm expect, I'm, I'm yeah, definitely expecting some pussy. Yeah, I'm expecting sex, which is why I'm not taking you unless we already been fucking. Yeah, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna gamble on the vacation to be our first time. <laughs> like well, y'all see me on vacation, mind your business. Don't, don't comment on my fucking pictures like wow and shit like yeah that's mind your business be but um back to music is that we do yeah so <laughs> let's talk about this um this Megan Thee Stallion shit man yeah cause that young Dolph shit was some bullshit um that's tough man no matter of fact hold on I wanna get into this the baby shit first cause this nigga's wild yeah that nigga's wild yeah. so I, yeah let's 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 go ahead and cover this shit Cause Megan, uh, yeah, Megan's. It's, that's that's gonna be a conversation. Conversation. So you know what's crazy? Their careers should be on the exact same path. So they kind of are on the exact same. Well, they kind of make the same music. Yeah, <laughs> they, he just they they the male and female version of each other hey, musically. Gotta relax. Dude. Did you yeah. see the video? Yeah, I saw the video. No, he Nipsey slapped her. It was nah nah nah. He slapped. He he he, he definitely slapped the shit out of her. <laughs> Nipsey slap was a perfect forearm slap though. Like, nah, I mean Nipsey been slapping niggas for years. Nipsey shit won't personal. It just was like nigga, you just have to get slapped right. Yeah, now. but it was just still <laughs> like for him to get slapped like that. The form and everything, the curvature, the angle of the arm. Yeah, the the, fingers were spread apart. It was a perfect. It slap. was a science. Yeah, it like was that science, shit it was, was scientifically scientific. like they could have put that shit on a sports center breakdown. <laughs> That shit was like goddamn. What's the shit Kobe used to do when he used to narrate the science behind like niggas' games? The uh, um, uh, that I shit. Can't get a word. Yeah, that shit. Y'all know what the fuck the we Kobe in about. detail shit. Though. Yeah. yeah, that that shit could have had his own episode. Yeah. Definitely sports science breakdown. That slap that Nipsey did. But yeah, baby slapped the shit out of her, and then he said his reason was that she hit him with the phone. I mean, the phone clearly like touched it, but at the same time, my nigga, what are you paying security for? To j- j- they getting free money. I would love to be that nigga security guard because you don't have to do no work fucking with the baby, bro. But the, the stupid shit about that is it ain't like she maliciously attempted to hit yeah, the man no, with the phone. She had one, the phone. She was probably recording him, jamming to his music. He yeah, walked so past, she hit him. The thing is, because I see on my timeline all day, a lot of females like this nigga. So she yeah. was probably excited, probably seen the nigga excited. He right, he's right in front of him. Close enough to him yeah. for her phone to hit him. So... She might that nigga might be her motherfucking crush or whatever yeah. the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And she might have got a little too excited. The phone goddamn touched his face. This nigga just wild out. I mean, that was bad. And he just and he just got the charges dismissed from that um it's, that it's other just nothing bullshit. So it's like, dog. Oh. That just that was that's just bad. There's not much that you're gonna be able to do to. Resolve that he was on Instagram and talking about I give 10k to somebody who got a good angle of the of the incident, like I guess showing her hitting him with the phone, but that's not gonna save you in court, my nigga. Whatever angle you get, you it's, slap it's gonna be worse. It's, you <laughs> slap this shit the out. The other of angle might be worse, but at some point, somebody in this nigga camp need to not be scared to get fired or none of that shit and just tell this nigga you gotta fucking chill out. You gotta sometime. chill out. If you want to fire me for telling it. you to chill out, my nigga, you gonna blow it. You that's gotta, it. He right. got a uh, anger issue. Yeah, so right. it's like, yo, if you want to fire me for telling you to chill out and you need to, hmm, then it is what it is. It's just I just don't see a way out of it, and I'm pretty good with figuring loopholes and shit and how niggas yeah. get out of shit like that. But I don't see a way out of that one. That was just bad. So yeah, I mean, I I. I don't. I don't know if this nigga got the right people around him, or he might have the right people around it him. Might and just be him. And he, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he might just be the fucking problem. Because I'm sure. I'm. I'm pretty sure that when he got back to the room, somebody in his team was like, "Yeah, that was, that was, you were wild for that yeah, shit." That, no, they said they he never he got the, he, he never hit shit. the stage. They said the crowd booed the nigga out the fucking arena after that because you were wrong. So yeah, you know I mean, like, fans. You, and it's not you. Not just gonna lose that one fan because clearly she don't fuck with you. Other than the fact that she's about to get paid from you. Oh yeah, she's definitely gonna get some some but money, even if you settle. Everybody that's seen paid. that shit look at you differently now. Yeah, and especially in this day of the Me Too and the domestic violence and shit like that. 
You can't fool no shit like that. Yeah, I mean, but his whole like persona, no, we know we, you tough, my nigga. We know, we get it. You gotta be tough on women. Like, <laughs> we get it. You tough. You know what I mean? You don't take no shit. You can't be this. You yeah, do, like I we get it. it yeah. We get it. You got the Napoleon you, complex. We get it. You not no bitch. But at some at, women, at, at some point, you gotta know when to say motherfucking when when it comes to these situations. What is what is a stupid situation? Like you gotta realize it's a stupid situation. You gonna yeah. you may win the the war, which wasn't even a fucking war with this woman, but yeah, you gonna lose the the. You may win the battle, but you gonna lose the war. Yeah, I mean he may you know that's you or that's yes, me. Oh, that's what I'm saying. So he may not even win the war because we don't know what it's just, it's bad. what society gonna how they gonna take because it just happened today or yeah. last night. So that's just bad. They don't know how they we don't know how they gonna take the shit. <laughs> they might cancel this. You know this cancel yeah, cancel culture, culture be. He had to pay her hefty. Mm. He might as well cut the check. And even that ain't gonna save you. They might Kevin Gates him. I see. I seen somebody say that. Uh, he might. He might. He might get shit. the Kevin Gates treatment. Yeah, as much trouble as you've been into. Yeah. Don't be surprised if you see the baby sit down. So on the flip side of that, imagine your girl. <laughs> imagine that being your girl who got slapped at the baby concert. <sighs> One, I'm, I'm gonna want to kill this nigga. That's we know we know that, right? But I'd have thought about this. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a logical nigga, so of course I'd have thought about the situation. Like, so did you go to the hospital? <laughs> did you, you hit got, the ER? You did got, you, a, you got a concussion, right? No, you got a concussion, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody tell, hey baby, look, 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 I'm gonna punch you in the face, okay? <laughs> But it's just to make it look worse than what it actually is. <laughs> you got to get paid from it. You but gotta yeah, get paid from it, homie. Wow. So I, I mean, I predict in the next day or two, he's probably gonna go on Instagram Live. That's gonna be charges press. Yeah. That's oh, be, I mean, that's that's, 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 that's first. That's gonna happen Jacunacy unless Jacunacy unless press. she's one of one of the the real ones. <laughs> no, because even the real. <laughs> Listen, no, I'm just saying. You know, how some people they just too. I ain't pressing. Child. I don't think she's one of them, but I'm just saying. I don't care which. I look, I fight niggas. Who? I'm not scared of nobody. Art, right? <laughs> if I'm at my favorite rapper's concert, he walking through the aisle. I got my phone out. I accidentally hit this nigga with the phone, and he hits me. We'll probably scuff. Maybe. <coughs> However, I'm pressing charges. <laughs> Believe that. You can't scuffle with a nigga and take him to court. You can't scuffle with a nigga and take him to court. I don't give a shit. <laughs> if I, it's about money at that point, and I'm gonna come up, nigga. I'm an opportunity. I'm an opportunity. <laughs> I'm an opportunist. <laughs> and that what Jesus said? I see opportunity. I'm an opportunist. Yeah, you Look. see what happened. With- Never mind. I ain't gonna bring up scuffling and robbing and. Jesus. And then I tell the nigga after court, like, if you want to see me, we can fight. We could definitely fight it out. It's not a problem. But this was business. This wasn't personal. This was business. Dig your homeboy up. The facts. I bet he can't like, say dig shit. Dig your dead homeboy up. I bet he can't say shit. <laughs> this is business. This wasn't personal. But yeah. So if you in the baby camp, man, y'all need to, um, sec- he need to either up his security or his security need to do a better job of, 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 of shit. Like, I mean, I understand, mate. Shorty shouldn't have touched Have you him. seen how big his fucking security guard is? <laughs> yeah, that's why y'all they like should the same be. complexion. And I, no, I know Jess. Cause he's from here. Yeah, he from he's yeah, from, he is from here. He's from Camelot. He's yeah, a Camelot nigga. He yeah, he grew yeah. up in my neighborhood. Yeah, but no. So what Tell I'm saying is, <laughs> it ain't even the fact of that. You don't see him in the video. Well, I, don't, I didn't look for him in the video either. But I don't. He's kind of hard to miss though. Nigga like six eight. <laughs> but no. So I mean, but the the whole point is like, anytime a situation like I mean, but at the same time, on top of that. Even if his security was there, he didn't give nobody a chance to react. Yeah, <laughs> like the nigga, just, like so. that shit happened so motherfucking fast. It was like, even if his security probably did want to do something, like it's too late, you couldn't. Them niggas ain't have no opportunity. I don't even. I real life don't even want to keep because there's nothing he can do or say. <laughs> yeah, I, they gonna, I see. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people who understand that people in life, you you're gonna make mistakes in life. Yeah. So am I gonna judge the baby's entire life based off of this one incident? Nah, you know, nah, nah, nah. Not. It's, it's never. But there are a lot. But there are a lot been, of people who are. Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of people I've been seeing a lot of people have been like looking at his patterns yeah. and shit. So you know what I'm saying it's just like 
this nigga's just been going off the deep end every, every time. Every time. You need help. He needs to see a shrink. Therapy or something. I'm going to kick some niggas from the streets and nobody ever really talks about this. Mm-hmm. Niggas who really been in the streets like that, a lot of niggas have PTSD. Yeah. And they won't call it PTSD because you haven't been to war. You haven't yeah. been to other countries. They ain't niggas, in the military, no, nigga, you so can, it's you not. You could be in the streets a long time and have PTSD. Yeah. So maybe the nigga needs, and I'm not saying that's necessarily him, but I, I know niggas personally, like, well, we won't get that deep into it, but niggas need to go get help, B. Yeah, like <laughs> I said, dog, I feel like it might be the whole Napoleon complex shit, man, because it's like he might know that he's a small nigga. He not no bitch. You know what I'm saying? So he might be like, yeah. I know most niggas. But you beat niggas up for that. That's what bro. I'm saying. Like, but I know most niggas. They feel like I know there's a lot because of niggas they, like they a small nigga and they know they not a bitch. They feel like every chance they gotta prove it. Like nigga Trey Songz when he had the braids. How yeah. many fight videos did this nigga have on the yeah. internet? Like when he first hit the Trey scene. Trey had to remind niggas like nigga I'm from <laughs> Petersburg. Nigga. Like we are not with the shit. <laughs> and I don't know if y'all know about Petersburg, but that shit is hood. Yeah, the whole city. Petersburg like. That shit is just one big. <laughs> it's one big hood. It's just one, big, it's one big, project. big hood. Like that shit ain't even a city. And they it's got a college one... right in the back of the hood. <laughs> it's, it's funny. But yeah. So what we got next? Um, they canceled. <laughs> it's not the weed. I wasn't even smoking, man. I just got to clear my throat. I don't have Corona neither. I mean, because I was literally about to say they canceled South by Southwest <laughs> for the coronavirus. Right on shit. time. So That's what, it was the intro, <laughs> man. I did that shit on purpose. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Um, I thought that was a wild move. Yeah, it's a wild move. I know they better not fucking cancel something in the water. And it might happen. Yeah, no, nah, they. It, it's looking like they may. They, we well, have they, a case in Virginia now. I so. did read the 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 project planner of something in the water and said that as far as they have no plans of canceling it. Yeah, I mean, cause, um, and that's two. That's a month and a half yeah, away. I was so that, say. the whole Corona shit could go away by then. Yeah, South by Southwest was this week. Yeah, like this weekend. So. I mean, I mean, it makes sense that they cancel it now, and this this shit is happening right now. The only way I would have canceled South by Southwest is if artists were backing out. Only way I'm canceling South by Southwest if a nigga come there with the virus, like no nigga. <laughs> like I'd if a bought, nigga come to South by Southwest coughing, like I right, we gotta as much money as they make at South by Southwest, the people who do that, the entire city itself. I'd have bought testing labs to set outside the gates before yeah. I canceled that bitch, but. It's just been a bad two years for South by Southwest. What happened last year? With viruses and shit. Didn't, uh, wasn't South by Southwest the the, the, the out? Didn't they have the outbreak there? Was that that? I don't know. It's I, so many fucking music festivals and shit. I try shit, to stay away so. from outbreaks. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> many of any sort. I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> but nah, I think it was. I don't want. I don't want to put it on this. No, nah, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. That was Coachella. I thought you were talking about Fire Festival. Nobody showed up for that shit for anything. <laughs> for, for there to be any fucking kind of outbreak there. But yeah, they say like two hundred and two to three hundred people caught something that weekend at Coachella. That's wild. Last year. Are you gonna clarify what something is? Oh, it's herpes. <laughs> I didn't want. To. <laughs> Yo, that's this nigga gonna laugh. Like, what kind of sinister ass nigga is you? You laughing at? My you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm I'm not la- I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at his reaction to the situation. Because <laughs> I really wasn't expecting you to say herpes. <laughs> I was really expecting a, a just a a virus of some sort, not a simplex. <laughs> Then we saying our herpes <laughs> Yo, what's the next subject? Cause <laughs> No, that's so wild <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, this you ain't heard about this shit last I, year? No, because I try to stay away from <laughs> outbreaks. <laughs> if you got herpes, no offense. If you're a woman and you have herpes, don't talk to me. <laughs> Damn. You can't hold a conversation like shit. Not about sex. <laughs> that, let me clarify. Yeah, not about sex. I'm not that big of an asshole. That's wild. Yeah, dog. It was it was crazy. But it, then you, 
it kind of make you think, like, what the fuck was your... I mean, I guess we know what the fuck they was out there doing. Like, duh. <laughs> what are you doing? You go out of town. You feel free. I need to invent a... That was really free, though. I need to invent a travel STD test. <laughs> they have them shits. They have, like, the take-home STD test. Well, I need to market They, like, 130. That's a lot. Sometimes, but it, it's for everything. I mean, when you can go to the joint and it's free. <laughs> I mean, but if I'm going out of town, though, like, there's got to be a way to get it cheaper. Yeah. I mean, so what you do if you, you pull up at a joint crib and she's like, hey, go ahead and. I'm clean, so I'm yeah, cool I mean, with I'm going to take it, but that shit. <laughs> I even look at her different like, wow, I really respect you. Yeah. I mean, not that I didn't respect you before, but like, you're different. Because you know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, you and know I that think, you. Yeah, you know. Because <laughs> if I clear this test, I'm definitely going in raw. <laughs> I was going in raw anyway, but. I feel like you're really responsible like about we gonna this. Wait, we gonna and wait I really trust minutes. you. I trust you more now than I did yeah. before. We're going to wait these 20 minutes, and I'm going to burn that ass up. That's probably not the best. That's probably not the best. The best <laughs> The best terminology. In Virginia, that just means I'm going to tear it up. <laughs> Our lingo is wild. We need your, to find new Your lingo, lingo is wild. <laughs> They try to put this shit on me. Nah, I be mean, you said. <laughs> All right, let's get back on uh, yeah, topic. Yeah. So yeah, South by Southwest canceled because of um because of the coronavirus, the coronavirus. and shit. That shit. And shit. the crazy dog, this shit such a pandemic that it's like yo. This it, nigga Google words. For I this ain't even episode. shut the fuck up. Here we go with this bullshit. I'm not gonna say it's not that big of a deal, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just, it's, it's a it's a glorified <laughs> flu. Yeah, that's it. And, and the only people that is killing it are people that that have like pre existing like like conditions and shit. Yeah, like yeah. as if the flu would kill you like, if you had if you like, have AIDS. <laughs> the coronavirus is probably going. Bro, that's not the only. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying because your immune system is weakened. There's other shit you could just have some. <laughs> Some kind of fucking lung issues or something. Like oh, you just yeah, go yeah. jump straight. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to go to the immune deficiency. <laughs> so anyway, yo, you you try every week more and more to get us canceled. I see this. I'm noticing this shit. Like every week, you just like, yo, what can I say <laughs> to make motherfuckers just want to just rally against the fucking show? You know what the funny shit is? I do that because this is where I can. I can really just say whatever the fuck I want to say. No, it's not. <laughs> it, is. <laughs> it is. No, it's not. This is the one place I feel like I can come and just free my mind. Because I've never said anything disrespectful. What I just you laughed at motherfuckers. <laughs> I didn't laugh at people getting herpes. I laughed at the fact that I wasn't expecting that to be what you said. Like me saying that people who have AIDS would probably die from the coronavirus isn't me. Being an asshole is more of a fact because your immune system is. Bad. I mean, I'm not trying to like. It's just. I mean, you can be mad at me, but you can't really debate facts, can you? No, nah, I mean you can't. <laughs> you just getting your Corey Holcomb on, so it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. But nah, so I mean the Corona. Just wash your fucking hands. That's it. They selling Walmart and shit, selling out of lights. We gonna get back to music, I promise you. Um, yeah, they sell I mean, this is music because it's South by Southwest. Oh yeah. So I mean, yeah, but it's just um, they saying stores and shit selling out of Lysol and bleach. Like everything. that motherfucker wasn't cleaning before. What the fuck was Lysol, y'all doing? bleach, all the fucking hand sanitizer, everything is just clearing off the shelf and shit. And I don't know, but motherfuckers ain't buying no soap or condoms. <laughs> like niggas ain't buying no soap. I buy antibacterial hand soap. I buy condoms. I got both. You're you're a good guy. <laughs> I got both. But um, so yeah, nah. South by Southwest, that's I crazy. Look at you a little differently now. I wonder. You shouldn't look at me <laughs> any kind of fucking way. No, no, no. no. I'm talking through our friendship. Like I, I thought you were, <laughs> thought you were one kind of guy, but you're a different kind of guy. You I thought mean. I was a filthy nigga like <laughs> yeah, you, but I'm I'm not as filthy as you thought I was. Hey, I got you. I've never been burned, and I've never burned anybody. Me neither. So, so I mean. I, I that's that's one accolade that I'm, yeah. I'm I'm proud to have. Keep that up there. <laughs> that's one accolade I'm proud to have. But no, nah, I mean, so I mean, dog, it could be fuck, fuck this virus. It, it could be a domino effect with other music festivals. Fuck this shit. Because I mean, it's not that big. It's like the SARS shit. Wash your hands. Stop yeah. touching people. 
coughing your elbow. But it's like, so like, we this, got this basic shit, life shit that yeah. nobody should have to fucking tell you. If we have to tell you this shit, yeah. you you shouldn't. You're not an adult. So, I'm fuck that virus. Fuck Dolph retiring. <laughs> <laughs> the first two music topics were bullshit. <laughs> first three. What was the third one? The baby. No, that's not some bullshit. He he, he just need to get no. The, the situation. Oh, was yeah, the situation. Was bullshit. <laughs> it was a bullshit. Um, <laughs> are we talking about Nicki Minaj, husband <laughs> getting arrested for re- no. <laughs> registering, f- no. failing to register as a sex offender? Because I don't, I don't like to discuss sex offenders. Yeah. Well, I re- I mean, I really don't want to. I will discuss R. Kelly, Bill Cosby. There are a few sex offenders that I have discussions about, but yeah, I but this nigga's give, nobody. Yeah, I don't give a shit about him. This, he's he's nobody. And it's not like he violated his. Like and committed another crime per se. He just did yeah. He just did what he was to do, which you should do because niggas need to know when sex offenders are around. Yeah, and, you know it only made the topic because or headlines because it was Nikki's husband. Of course, if nobody. Was, even, what's his name? Nigga, I'm sure. I'm sure. Nigga, what, no, what's his hood. name? I don't know that. It, nigga's it, fuck, fucking, it fuck exactly. I don't know that the next name. Topic. Fuck his name. I don't know this nigga's exactly. name. Next topic. I don't even know if Nikki know this nigga name. You refer to this nigga as Nikki Minaj's husband. <laughs> You're a bitch. Like you might as well change your last name to Minaj, and that's not even her last yeah. name. I don't know that picture. I mean, Nikki fired that picture. Nikki is fire. And now that she got her body redone, when you get your body redone to look like it's normal, that shit fire. I don't understand how Nikki don't have any kids yet. Cause birth control. She the fuck around. That shit wouldn't have been strong enough to shit out of abortions. Everybody hates that. Oh, word. the nigga name is Kenneth. Yeah, so next topic. <laughs> it's on the hey, look, it's look, on... look, top five dead or alive dropped the album this week, B. Let's stop the bullshit, okay? He's going through the bullshit. I'm not. The look. nigga name is Kenneth Petty, man. Top five. <laughs> I swear to God. His name is Kenneth Petty. Top five dead or alive dropped the album this week. Kiss album is fire. Your last name is Petty. Yeah, better. It would have been better off as Minaj. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have. Not in this situation. It doesn't fucking matter. I think it would have been worse if his last name was Minaj. Top five, dead or alive. <laughs> Drop the album. Ignitus is fire. All right, let's get into the album releases, and we'll save the the, the one for last because that is spinning yeah. to the ne- to the final music topic. Yeah. <laughs> Top five, dead or alive. Jada dropped the album. And he didn't disappoint me. And that shit was fire. He didn't and Ross me. blacked on that shit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Ross, he did. Ross blacked out on that shit. Y'all know how I feel about Ross. Two Chains did too, though. If you watch the podcast, y'all know how I feel uh, about Ross, but he definitely blacked on that. Two Chains verse on that shit was that shit was like that. It was a lot. I mean, it's Two Chains though. Yeah, I mean, that's what he does. I actually went back and listened to Cody and Cowboy not too long ago on a road trip. Oh yeah, yeah. fire. Uh, that whole mixtape was was crap. But yeah, niggas don't give Two Chains his props, his just due, but he he deserved it. We'll do that one day over here. Yeah. Um, the top shit with he, he was top five that are alive. Yeah, man. kids can rap. The he shit with Days Low, and he got a sang on. Like he was singing on shit. He old. I am fucked up. <laughs> dropped this blunt twice. You can't see it, but you know what that mean. What you dropped the blunt? You know yeah, what that means. my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that old shit we did. <laughs> Penalties. But yeah, um, now nah, um, you wouldn't think Kiss would sound like good singing. Cause it's you know cause it's Kiss. I think we more just enjoyed it than anything. Yeah, but nah, he like like him singing on some Drake shit wasn't like bad. It 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 didn't it wasn't like yo Kiss what the fuck are you doing? It was like yo this nigga Kiss Kiss He's what the rabbi, fuck yeah. this nigga actually singing this shit alright. Like they like and his features was right. The shit with John Legend crazy it's important when you're that long in the game to get the right features to make yeah. your album but i think kiss is respected enough to get the features that he got yeah of course and i course. mean it's just it's, it's kiss like yeah. this nigga's definitely a legend at I, this point he, the he, whole locks they they legends at this point i completely agree um I don't, I'm not gonna give a favorite song on the album yet because the shit dropped two days ago. I, was like, I gotta listen to it again. I was yeah, the shit dropped two days ago, and I hate when niggas already have a fake. Like you ain't even you probably ran through the shit twice. You yeah. ain't even so. I ain't gonna give a favorite yet. We'll probably do a full album rundown next week. Um, Megan drop. Oh, I said we was gonna do that last then. No. Who else dropped? Uzi <laughs> drop. Uzi drop. I mean Megan. Yeah, Megan drop. We didn't think what? she was going to. Uh, Uzi drop. 
Uzi shit was alright. I didn't hear the whole thing. I also did not listen to Uzi's whole. Actually, I only got through the first song on it. Yeah, I got yeah. to like track four. The first five, song like but, that though. Yeah. That first song was definitely like that. I like that. Uzi. Yeah, his shit dropped. Um, a uh, little baby drop. That shit. That my turn. Little baby, my turn was that. Sh- that shit is hard. Yeah. Um, and I know I just said I wasn't gonna give a favorite song on the Jada shit, but <clears> there's <throat> something to prove on the little baby shit was tough. Yeah. That uh, shit was. That might be. That's my standout song. That's why I'm listening to it again. But. Yeah, little baby, little baby. Um. The wait was worth it. Yeah. Him 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 prologuing the album, it was worth it. That nigga um, Yeah, I watched the interview he did on the uh Joe Button the, the come up or the pull up. Yeah, shit. yo, he's smart. He's, he's the smart. nigga smart, man. He's not like super articulate, you know what I'm saying? But nah, he, fucking like the nigga he, nigga, he, he nigga from Atlanta is super. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you learn that shit eventually. And at the same time though, I ain't even gonna say that because Killer Mike is. That's what it, but, but at Killer the same Mike time, but shit. he don't I mean, have the, is, it ain't even the fact that then he's not articulate. It's the fact that it's their accent. So niggas yeah. always think niggas from the South is slow. They don't and, speak proper. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They use Atlanta <laughs> slang or something. Niggas be slang, having 4.3 GPAs, yeah. but they just <laughs> they just speak Gullah and Geechee and shit. So you know, niggas I don't understand it. I'm yeah. in Atlanta like every other month. So yeah. niggas ain't, ain't just straight away from Atlanta. Um, it's just they use, like you said, Southern words and they talk different. So yeah. when they do interviews to the public, it doesn't necessarily sound like it should. To people yeah. who be in Atlanta and understand that shit, don't yeah, it sound Yeah, that fine. shit sound like a normal yeah, fucking conversation. Like conversation. But yeah, and a lot of them niggas don't even like doing interviews, so that's probably why a lot of them sound like that too, because yeah. they don't like to fucking do interviews and open up and be on camera and shit. Like, it makes sense. Niggas don't like to do that shit. He's a smart nigga though. That yeah, nigga say he's saving all his money. Yeah, that nigga said shit. I ain't even spend a lot on this jewelry. It's real. It's, it's real, <laughs> but I ain't spend a lot on it. What do you say? It's real. It ain't you know. It ain't twenty four carat. Yeah. It's like ten, but it's, <laughs> it's still gold. You ain't gotta get the VVS ones, nigga. Like, you can, all right. <laughs> It's still gold, nigga. It's just ten carat, not twenty four. Yeah. So you know, but yeah, um, just smart, yeah, nigga. little baby shit was hard, and the album that everybody thought wasn't gonna drop, drop. Meg the Stallion. You so know that's, what? I ain't, that's, with the anticipation, I didn't even listen to Meg album. Um, and she I, one of the female rappers that I would actually take time to listen to her album because I think not only does Meg make bangers, Meg can kind of really rap for what nah, she does. She raps. She rap for what she do. She to me, she's like. Uh, not really comparing them, but she rem- she puts me in the mind of the baby. Yeah. Because they both kind of stay in their lane. Yeah. Like, musically. And they're good for what they and, do. And, and, it's, and like, it works. They, they're, they're like, they can wrap their them. ass off. They know their sound, mm-hmm. and they stick to their sound. Yep. So it's like. And I'm cool with that. So I'm going to take time. It may drop, it may drop bangers. <laughs> yeah, she so does. I'm going to take the time to listen to it. But, and yeah. she look like she look. With the yeah, talent that she fact. got. <laughs> like, so it ain't, it ain't like she, a lot of these other, um. Bad, whatever, because you know they all—all all their name is bad something now. Barbies. Yeah, or something Barbie, or, or is either bad something or something Barbie. But Nicki Minaj really do got a lot of sons out here. Yeah, that's wild. But Megan ain't one of them. Facts. So I'm gonna take the time to listen to it. Yeah, with that bullshit, the I mean, contract with, situation that jumped off. Yeah, I mean, so apparently she wanted, she got a deal. So her deal was, label gets sixty, she gets forty. What was it? They got, she got half of her masters. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a little kinks in the deal, but honestly, from what knowing about the little, what I know little about independent deals, it wasn't a bad deal. Nah, they probably just didn't expect I mean, her to blow up. The way from that she from did. what it sounds like, because nobody actually knows the actual terms of the deal. Yeah, it sounds like she just signed a fucking 360 deal. Yeah, like every other new artist is signing now because yeah. these labels don't trust you niggas yeah. to. And you blow up, you want to re- renegotiate. She fortunately was able to get under Rockefeller management, which yeah. you know Jay got a lot of smart people working for him. So they trying to get her money right. They trying to get some money too. That's it. So everybody trying to get some money. So it's time to renegotiate. You're but I don't know what went so left with the renegotiation. Yeah. So, so let me see. I'm trying to find the um, the the actual yeah, my mama. part. My mama used to answer all my emails. Right here. My mama was my manager, my mama was my rock, my mama was everything. It was just me and my mama rolling around this hoe, doing Megan Thee Stallion shit. So then, we met T. Ferris. And T. Ferris was like, okay, I, I have this label and 
I really want you to sign to it. It's an independent label. Hey, we just yeah, starting yeah. up. Me and my mama love T. Ferris. Boom. Signed to 1501. Signed to 1501. Now, 1501 had a bunch of artists. So, boom. Signed to 1501. 1501, very new. Cups. 1501. Got always, niggas on the label already. The they they been... They been had that. But when I got on the label... Now, you know, now I'm a part of the label. So, they didn't have nobody that was really, like, you know, on a large scale yet. So, my mama was managing me. We was doing our own thing. We was doing our own thing. So, I started getting more popping, more popping. Then I signed with 300. That's another independent label. Chief, keep getting money. Okay? It's my second independent <laughs> label. So, when I signed with 300... Nobody even talking about that, Chief. Keep getting money. Everybody's still a big, happy family. Everybody happy. Yes. Everybody good. Oh, shit. What they said about my mama? All right, see, that, this This is why I hate... I like, mean, I'm still on 15 But even when I first started on 15 one, I was still putting shit out through like little bitty ass distributors so when i got with 300 it just happened to go to like right. a she's dragging it out i'm trying to i got real lawyers we go. and they was like do you know that this is in your contract and i was like oh damn that's crazy no i didn't know so i'm not mad at 1501 i wasn't upset because I'm thinking in my head, oh, well, everybody cool. We all family. It's cool. It's nice. Business. Let me just ask some niggas to renegotiate my contract. <laughs> Soon as I said, I want to renegotiate my contract, everything went left. Like, it just all went bad. It all went left. So now they're telling the bitch that the, she can't drop no music. And she pretty much goes on about the same like yeah. little thing. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not mad at him. I mean, what do you? Business is business. That's it. Like, at the end of the day, no matter you should be able to renegotiate. But I, from what I understand, they didn't want to renegotiate because she owed them the money. Yeah, like, she like, didn't stop paying them like two hundred thousand yeah, or something like, like that. You stop paying me. Why am I going to renegotiate if you already owe me? Give me the money you owe me, then we can talk about renegotiating. Yeah. Um. So now, nah, uh, dude responded, uh, Carl Crawford. I guess he's like the CEO of the label or whatever. And um, he said that they get sixty percent of the recording income, and she get forty. And they receive thirty percent of her income from touring and merchandising. He also added that Megan Thee Stallion has retained part of her masters in the deal, so that her allegations of him being greedy are off base. Um. Then he said, and I quote, and I quote, <laughs> and I quote, let's talk about your contract. It's a great contract for a first time. he said, what contract gives part of their masters and 40 percent royalties and all that kind of stuff? Ask Jay-Z to pull one of his artists first contracts and let's compare it to what Megan got. I guarantee they won't ever show you that. Which is probably a fact. We all remember raping you records. <laughs> We'll be raping you, raping you, raping yeah. you. Nigga. And he said, their real plan was to get you out of my contract so they can sign you to Rock Nation. Which That's all they want to do. And I, 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 I believe there's some truth to that. I don't doubt that at all. But, I mean, why wouldn't they? Yeah. Megan is on, on fire. Like, be why smart the on fuck? everybody's behalf. Yeah, like, why that'd the be fuck smart wouldn't on they? Megan's, that'd be yeah. smart on Rock Nation. And realistically, if they could really work it out, the nigga could probably come up off a lot of money from Rock Nation. They'll pay him yeah. to let her out that contract. That two hundred thousand dollars that he weren't ain't nothing compared to what they'll, they'll give probably him. give her a meal. Like nigga, they'll give him. That's, that's what I, I meant. Him. Yeah. They'll, they'll, give they'll him probably two give him like to a, let her yeah. to let her out that contract because Meg. They know they're gonna make two years is gonna make forty fifty. <laughs> he's gonna be retarded. So you can have this two million dollars. Let her out of contract. <laughs> Yeah, he said. But that's uh, also why he don't want to let her go because he also. Oh, he her. know yeah, he, he know where she about to go. Smart. He said she signed with Rock Nation in August and decided she didn't want to pay me no more. 
They're using that as a strong arm tactic that I can renegotiate so I can so that I can renegotiate the contract. They're holding the money and they haven't paid me since August. She's done over 15 shows. Y'all do the math. She gets 100000 a show. God damn. Megan is 100000 a show? She worth it. I mean, of course. But a lot of motherfuckers that's, that came in with her ain't getting that. She's, yeah. yeah. But I mean, what they say, you don't get what you owe, you get what you negotiate. So 100000 a show. I mean, that's, and <laughs> the baby probably getting that too. Like I said, when you on yeah. fire like that, that's when you get it. Yeah. He says, she owe me and I haven't recouped almost $2 million that we spent on her, building her up so that Rock Nation would want to come around. See, Where was know. Rock Nation when we was grinding and riding around in them back streets? Rock Nation was nowhere to be found. Soon as we spent our money, blow it up. Now all of a sudden, these strangers and people you just met, they introduce you to Beyonce and now we the devil. We were the angels sent. We were just the angels that, that were sent from the sky. Now we're the devils because Jay-Z saved you. You're so fake. And that was, he left it there. Sounds like Illuminati talk. <laughs> like, there you go. Conspiracy theory. Um, so let's get into that. I'm just no, fucking. I'm just really, really not <laughs> this doing this nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, we gonna have the Illuminati conspiracy talk one day. I believe in the Illuminati, and I hope that they're out there. And if they are, please. I don't understand why. What? What's? What's so bad about us that y'all niggas can't come? How let me be? Send me an application, an email, something. Facebook message, just something. Like I'm, I'm gonna sign up. My soul got a price, and it, it sounds like the Illuminati <laughs> price. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure they can afford it. First of all, where did these <laughs> niggas get two million dollars to put behind me? Maybe it wasn't two million they started out with. Maybe that's what they are. Really. No, I'm like, that face was where did they? Get I mean, the I million? get it, but that's <laughs> <laughs> like even still, like that's a lot of money. I ain't shit. trying to, you know, niggas know what that two million. Yeah, I get it, but that's a lot. Of, <laughs> like even still, that's a lot of money in the streets, be. Niggas know what the fuck two that million, two million dollars is, is a you, lot of money. Anyway. And you forget that um, Jay Prince is invested in this shit too. So there we go. So he's he's invested okay, in. Okay, so there goes. There goes. There goes. That makes a lot more sense. I was listening because it does. Even if you get your two million out of the streets, nigga, two million dollars, which is why even Jay Prince dropped a um, he dropped a little. If you getting two million dollars in the streets, the feds is definitely watching you. Yeah, but they may not bother you, but the feds are definitely they have yeah. notice of you. They've yeah. they've come even if you. it ain't two million dollars illegal, you can legally be getting two yeah million. legally getting two million dollars. <laughs> the feds, is the still IRS is watching you. Be <laughs> they still gonna be on somebody's your watching. So. But yeah, I mean, Jay Prince said he he was quick to say, "Don't put my name in that bullshit." Yeah, apparently they went to court and affidavits to sign and all types of shit. So Jay Prince was quick to say, don't "Hey, put one thing bullshit. about it, nigga, don't play with Jay Prince." You heard what he you heard what he told Pusher. You, I, you 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 play with pigs. What did he say? He said you, some crazy you, shit. You you, you you play with pigs, you gonna get muddy or some shit. Some, 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 wild, some wild shit that niggas yeah. knew what the fuck it meant. Yeah, but you know old niggas always make it. Old people love to make up fucking sayings. Yeah. That sound good. It's like, all right. Old nigga, nigga, I don't chew my cabbage yeah. twice. All right, old nigga. Whatever. <laughs> uh, and I'm not gonna disrespect. I know Jay Prince. No, nah, yeah, we know Jay Prince a real real. nigga. Like, but in real life, I he doesn't and he maybe he doesn't have to, because I know a lot of niggas who don't yeah. give you that feeling. No, but. but at this point, even Jay Prince whole master. You're not P, like be, you're these not, niggas, Jay Prince in a, in a battle against Rock Nation is not gonna win. Yeah. And and at the same time, it's like, no, we know that these niggas got street ties, but they're not gonna jeopardize millions right, not, of dollars. Yeah, not this money. They're not gonna jeopardize no no millions of dollars to get a nigga and hit like that shit's stupid as fuck now at this point. You can work out some shit where you let her out her deal and you get ten percent of her yeah. shit still, even if she signed. We're like, y'all just cut us a check. Yeah, that's why even when all that Takashi shit was going on with Jay Prince, I was like, yo, Takashi's alive because them niggas know that he not worth their money. Yeah, because if they wanted, if niggas wanted Takashi hit, not because it's them. I'm not saying Jay Prince in it, like just period. A he nigga got touched. Like, yeah, everybody can get touched. Dog, yeah. You get a young nigga to t- touch him for about a thousand dollars. Or some wild shit. Like, yo, nigga, I give you this thousand dollars, you run up on the nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, Takashi costs a little more than a grand, but. Like, these niggas, not for these little young dumb niggas. But let me stop. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't put no young <laughs> I wouldn't put no young nigga no shit like that. He gonna tell on you. Yeah, exactly. Nah, not for a grand. <laughs> young niggas yeah, definitely. for a grand, he's definitely gonna tell on you. <laughs> young niggas go tell on you. Especially when he find out what you came up on, he's definitely telling on you. <laughs> niggas, de- he's, telling. he's telling. But yeah, so, I mean. But nah, so yeah, Jay Prince pretty much said, yo, yeah, pretty much you said, keep my name out the shit. I ain't got, you know what I mean? 
Well, his name is in it. So we'll see how that shit go in court. What I, you know what, what I real life suggest about the situation and what a lot of people don't do when they involved in legal court cases like Meg got going on. Even when you involved in street shit, little petty shit, like. Shut the fuck up. Shut the, f- yo, shut the <laughs> fuck up. Shut the fuck up, yo. You have lawyers for a fucking reason. Shut the fuck up, yo. All you have to do is shut up. But if you notice, dog, Meg has done more interviews. You talk yourself into so many losses, yo. Dog, and th- at the same time, it's kind of like maybe this should have publicity stunt. Dog, Meg has done more interviews after all this shit happened than I've ever seen her and do. Maybe since she fucking been signed. And if it is, it's a good one. Smart as fuck. It's a good one. <laughs> this shit because it shit worked. Is fucking genius. You talk, you talk about her two days before her album come out and the album dropped. And her album was probably, like I said, I haven't listened, but I'm assuming her album is yeah, probably fire. Because she said they won't let her release music. And she said that this is... This, well, they, they went to court. This not actually her album. No, they went to court and then the judge put a restraining order, some sort of restraining order out. Yeah, where she has to... Where she, she was able to, to release yeah. the music, which... But she said she this never. isn't her official album. She said this was like some loose songs. It's got that, to be her official album. No, you but know you what know I was, every rapper say that. But when you say that, though, song, it yeah. made me wild because it, it was wild to hear... Cause they were like she hasn't put out an album yet, and I thought Tina Snow was an album. Mm-hmm. I did too, cause it was on yeah. Apple Music and all that and shit. Every so. song from Tina Snow was a banger. Yeah, I really thought Tina Snow was an album, and apparently it wasn't. It was just an EP, yeah. which sucks for her, cause if it was an album, it definitely would have counted towards where she owed them people, and yeah. I think people could have made a lot more money out of the situation. Yeah, and I think that might have been part of it too. Cause I'm, she probably put that shit out as a mixtape, but she probably put that shit out on like CD Baby or something. That shit wild. And link that shit straight to her that bank account. Like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I right, that's why I said I, I led with that shut the fuck up shit. Cause that's what everybody in that situation needs to do. Yo, shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's it. And the crazy thing, let the all these young out. these young artists, the ones who don't want to be independent, y'all gotta realize like. This um, you gotta know what the fuck you signing. Just cause that shiny piece of paper right in your face, and you looking at this shit like, oh, this shit about to change my life. Like it might, but it ain't always gonna change your life for the better. Get a it, lawyer. Like if they really wanna, if they really wanna sign you, you can. They'll they'll give you a day or two. That's the good sound advice, right? Yeah, I mean, I know realistically yeah, it's it, not realistically, gonna happen because it, it's been happening over I'm not gonna throughout you, years. You know what I'm saying? To not. Signed because if you don't sign the deal, you no. are it's not that you're you are gambling on yourself a little well, bit. Well, yeah, but I'm not just, saying to not sign it, I'm saying know, know what that, yeah, know, know what, what the fuck you yeah, signing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if so you want to change that shit down the road, just know it's gonna be some battles with it. Yeah, like it may or may not. You may be able to renegotiate, put it into into the original contract that renegotiations can come depending on certain stipulations. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So you're right. I, I agree with you 100. Yeah, that's what I meant. You know, know what you sign. I'm not saying to not sign it, but. Even all right, so even us, like, we we kind of savvy with a lot of shit. We kind of knowledgeable on a lot of shit. But if a nigga throw a contract in our face, it's probably gonna be some terms and shit in there that we never heard before. We gonna know one. I'm gonna yeah. want to know what the fuck this means. I do my googles, b. Yeah, yeah. Google's a big asset. Yeah, but I mean, niggas, them record labels ain't let you Google right there in the, in the office. I'm sure. But that's what I'm saying. If they want to sign you. They'll give you a chance to go see a lawyer, especially if if they don't feel like the contract is fucked up. Yeah. If they feel like the contract is fair or they feel like it's legit, yeah, go see a lawyer. You got to, we'll give you two days. You don't come back in two days, then it is what it is after that. So yeah. we'll give you 48 hours, go see your lawyer, figure out what you need to figure out, and either you're going to sign the shit or not. We ain't going to chase you. And then that's it. But these motherfuckers need to know what they signing. You are fucked up too. I'm... Watching this game, yeah, I'm I'm watching phone. this shit too. <laughs> I completely forgot it was on the TV. I haven't even turned to the TV. Yeah, I'm watching it on my phone. And I'm, I'm mad about this. Yeah, Lakers, Lakers and the Clippers are playing. Lakers I, is up. My my bad gambling weekend apparently is going to continue because <laughs> Lakers is up. They definitely. But up yeah, um, by eight. but nah. So yeah, to to all the young artists, man, just just know what the fuck you signing. Have the right people in your corner. Um, that's a fact. And just fucking be rational. Think before you do stupid shit. Take your time. And but shut I mean, the fuck up. And learn to nah, shut the but you know, learn when to shut the fuck up. You definitely gotta learn when to shut the fuck up. But even in situations <laughs> like that, like Meg, even if she would have read the deal, she probably would have took it anyway, just because it it doesn't seem like a bad deal. And 
everybody doesn't expect themselves to blow up the way that yeah. they're gonna blow up. Well, you you may expect certain things for yourself. You yeah. May have well, I mean, but you may I you may cross that threshold. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I won't speak in the man specifically because yeah. I seen that she said. Um, I think it was the Breakfast Club. It's one of them fucking. They all fucking upload at the same time. Breakfast Club, Hot ninety seven, Angie Martinez. They all, you know what I'm saying? But mm. she said that she read it, and I guess it was just at the time when it she was good when, when she was nobody. Obviously, yeah. nigga, forty percent. Like, yeah, let me get that. You know what I'm saying? But I guess now that she is who she is, and she's with Rock Nation. She just she didn't want out of the contract. Yeah, she wanted. To re- she just wanted to renegotiate. So that's what I'm trying to figure out where where the, the disconnect con- yeah, was. Disconnect is. Because they should be willing to renegotiate and still be able to get money out of the situation. Because I think, so from from what I was reading and shit, I think that he feels like if they were to renegotiate the shit, that she's going to, because you know they have to void the old one to renegotiate. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The old shit is void once you renegotiate. Yeah. So they think they, that, so he believes that she's trying to void the old shit. And then say fuck it and go sign a Rock Nation. Yeah. That's what he believes, which it's probably the case. It's 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 possible. It's possible. I mean, after all this shit, now I'm more than certain that she's not gonna stay over there. Oh, of course not. <laughs> like I'm more than certain she's not gonna stay there now. Like with all the shit that's and going I on. Get, I mean, that's what she's gonna do. I don't know how many albums she owed them people, but I would give her some bullshit and leave. So yeah, just. Just fulfill your album obligations and some, some throwaway songs that I got on yeah. stash. But, but then at the same album. time, like that might fuck your career up. You throw some throwaway and then some bullshit throwaway songs. You can tell the people's throwaway. I think Wayne did some shit like that. I mean, but he just, never warned well, niggas I mean, that it was man, throwaway man, songs. I mean, though, album, so. It just seemed like a, <laughs> I knew it was a throwaway. <laughs> so Wayne gave us like four albums of throwaway songs. Like over time, like over these last couple, his last shit was alright though. Yeah, but all right. yeah, that's man, it for music right? Um, yeah, that's it. The Clippers are real life making me depressed right now. It's hurt my soul. <laughs> Tired of losing money. So let's get on the sports. <laughs> so let's get on the sports. My individual bets are good. My parlays are trash or something. It's always one that falls out of the loop, and it's just it's always one. So now nah, let's leave um, Tom Brady, man. It's, it's been so much talk around Tom fucking Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady. Where the fuck is Tom Brady? Fuck Tom Brady. Where Tom Brady going? Um, you know, I honestly don't know. I, I think say, I think he's staying in New England. I, I think he actually England hasn't too. talked to any teams. Yeah. I his, think his Tom, people, his people are just out there talking to teams. Tom ain't out there talking. To I nobody. don't think his people talk to no teams. That's, that's Not seriously. Bad. I think they just doing that to get the fucking Patriots to renegotiate whatever they need to renegotiate to resign them. Yeah. Like, because they said the, I guess the strongest, um, the 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 strongest contender right now was the 49ers. and I'm like, yo, they just gave Garoppolo like 120 million dollars. Like they're not about to sign Tom Brady, because who one of them yeah. niggas has to start? The 49ers, yeah, the forty nine are gonna sign. Him. But it's no, between, they, they were saying he was like the number one. They was the number one team, so it's like yo. I think it's between New England and Tennessee, and I think he might go to Tennessee because he has Derrick Henry back there who he can just hand the ball off to. And yeah, he's just a fucking monster in the backfield. <laughs> Like, yo, this a passing play, but you yeah. stay right here just in case the just pocket just, collapse. Just and I think Tennessee has enough money to probably, I haven't checked their calorie, their salary cap, but they probably have enough money to buy <laughs> a, yeah. a good wide receiver for them. They got a couple good young wide receivers over there, but they probably got some money to bring in a solid one. Yeah, and they can go get Dez. I mean, I think Tom Brady can throw to Dez. I think Tom Brady can throw to Dez. Look, look, as I made that joke, Dez is it's not like Dez is trash. Yeah, Dez is probably still in game shape. Yeah, like I'm I'm sure Dez is like if he like, go on any team, he's gonna be a contending wide. <laughs> nah, my no sorry. <laughs> um like I follow uh, Ocho Cinco on Twitter. And that nigga's definitely still in game shape. Game shape. Well, he been years removed from the game. Like but, five or six. Yeah. Maybe more. But he But I believe if an NFL team called him today that he would burn a lot of these corners up. I guarantee he'll get a, a thousand yards. Easy. Like he he'll <laughs> like, burn a lot of these corners up. So don't sleep on Dez just because he hasn't gotten signed. 
I don't think Dez has actually been actively looking to get signed either, though. I think he's just been – I think he's been waiting no, for a team Dez, to I reach out. Dez, no, Dez want to get signed. No, no, no. I say I don't think he's been actively looking to get signed. Oh. Like, I don't think he's been shopping himself around. No, I think he's not. chilling and waiting for a team to reach out but still staying in shape just in case. So, I think – I mean, because he's, he's probably good. I'm sure Dez made some good business investments and shit. So. Yeah, I hope so. But, anyway, back on topic – Um. So, yeah, so Tom Brady, I don't know, man. I think he's going to ultimately stay with the Patriots. Him and Belichick's going to retire together, even though they don't it's, like each other. And niggas know they don't like each other. It's between you and the Titans. And it wouldn't even surprise me if he goes to the Titans because I think Mike Vrabel's the coach of the Titans, so he's the coach for – Yeah, know, and that's like his best friend or some yeah. shit like that, right? Like, they real close. Tennessee has the offensive line to hold him up. Like, he ain't got to worry about getting hit too much. Yeah, and then Tannehill is uh, – he's, he's on his way out. Tannehill's, Tannehill's okay. No, nah, he's not trash, but I think he's on his way out. Tannehill's old. As, he's Tom Brady age, ain't he? he no, nah, Tannehill ain't nowhere that close. Tannehill's young. Oh, yeah. No, nah, he just played like an old yeah, nigga. Yeah. He, he I mean, like, I guess when you play. in Miami. When you, that's Miami what I was going to say. When you play with Miami, yeah, like, so nigga, I would. But Tannehill ain't nothing but maybe 27, 28. Yeah. Young. Um, and he's not a bad. No, nah, like, I mean, we seen okay. what he did in the playoffs. He's okay. You give him like, some weapons, he, but he's just yeah. not Tom Brady. He did all right. If Tannehill could play back up to Tom Brady, I wouldn't be mad at that. <laughs> I don't think Tannehill would be mad at that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only uh, – it's another option for him, though. He's not going to the Cowboys. He's not going to the 49ers. The, they're the two main teams everybody's been saying. We know that he's, he's not, not going to go to either one of them. Like, that's that'll be dumb on both teams' part to sign him. I gamble. Vegas has their odds on these in New England. Second best team in the Titans. I don't know. Um, I heard the Chargers too. I think the Chargers were thrown in the mix somewhere, but they weren't really high on the list. No, nah, they weren't high, but I heard the Chargers. But then again, I heard the Raiders. So niggas just started throwing whatever team. Although the Chargers actually would make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, they just got rid of Phillip Rivers. And Melvin Gordon is a free agent. So if they can sign Tom Brady, Melvin Gordon to stay. He got an Austin Eckler back there in the backfield. He got stud wide receivers, stud tight end. Get some offensive line to hold him up. He got a stud defense if they can stay healthy, which is the problem in there. But wouldn't be a bad look for him. He probably wouldn't. He could probably win because the championship. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, and then um, somebody was saying who uh, Tavon Austin is going. He's free agent this year. Yeah, who cares? He might. We all thought Tavon has to retire. He's been on the Dallas roster, just tucked away. I mean, and Randall Cobb too. But I mean, they both old. So Randall Cobb is definitely old as a bitch. They both. Oh, but Randall Cobb still looked all right last year. Like he still looked like. Know what I mean, I ain't gonna say he still looked like a top five receiver like he used to. But the he problem, still the problem. Gonna he be, still can produce. The issue is gonna be with these old wide receivers this year. Is that there are so many wide receivers coming out of this college draft. Yeah, this year is crazy for so yeah. Many nah, this year is definitely. It's not really your best year to be an old wide receiver <laughs> free agent. You might want to take whatever deal you can get because these young college niggas is burning them up. Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, like they are burnt. They are burning people up. <laughs> nah, nah, that's a LSU, fact. So yeah, they... yeah. That nigga, I think Jerry Judy's gonna be number like he's gonna be in the top five. Like in the draft. it's a possibility. I think they predict him like and I know most times wide receivers don't usually get picked in the top five, but I think he's gonna They're predicting like five or six yeah. wide receivers in the first round. Yeah, year. he's oh he's definitely gonna be in the first round. And Philadelphia, if y'all don't pick up one, you're dickheads. I think um who else? Uh what's the boy from Oklahoma, man? Um, don't give me the name of names. I just started drinking and shit. Uh what's the nigga name? From Oklahoma, he from Oklahoma, but well, he played for Oklahoma. Fuck the Clippers, man. I should have known. I should have known. I told you before the shit started what was gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, CD Lamb. Yeah, yeah, that's his name, CD Lamb. I had to remember the shit. But yeah, man. Um, Pelicans did their job though. Shout out to the Pelicans. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think Tom Brady. Like I said, I think he's gonna ultimately stay in New England. So that means we got to see Tierra talk more stupid shit on our fucking timeline yeah. every day about the fucking Patriots. Shout out to Tierra. That's the homie, though. Legs. Legs. 
She getting a little booty too on the low. Yeah, that's what that shit on Facebook. Girl, little, little, <laughs> little, little something, something. You think Tierra look? I think Tierra look black and eight. We're, we're, not, we're not gonna talk about Tierra. She, she's she's different. Her, her Nigga, I'd make Tierra a fucking topic if yeah. I felt like it. Let me stop. She already thinks she popping anyway. Yeah. <laughs> she already thinks she, she popping. Shit, her mind. <laughs> That's the dog. I fuck with her. Yeah, nah, that's my nigga. She goes, we gonna get her ass up here. For facts. Cause she'd say I'll pay shit. for her fly out and not have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna cuss me the fuck out. <laughs> she gonna cuss me out for that. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. Um, mm. <laughs> yo, did you see the motherfucking um, UFC fight last night? I did not. You know, that's my nigga. I, you know, I, I be burning my soul up waiting to talk about UFC Look, and boxing. Man, when you're a single parent. <laughs> Nigga, you could you and your son could have watched the UFC shit together. He was sleeping for the fight started. He fell asleep at like nine thirty. Yeah. So I looked. I was like, damn, the fights don't start till ten. So I was like, All Even, right. I mean, you know, the I prelims mean, started Chinese at eight. Food. Prelims yeah, started at eight o'clock. Didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, man. So fuck asleep. Um. This is this is heartbreaking. Joanna. Um. I keep forgetting how to pronounce her last name, but she got lumped the fuck up. Yeah, and it was bad. like, duh. but on top of that though, before I start with the jokes and shit, like that fight could have went either way on a decision card. Cause I know she looked like she looked at the end, but she didn't fight like she looked like. Nigga, she looked like Martin when he got hit by the Tommy <laughs> Hitman hers. That shit was bad. Yeah, but you know, all right, you know how like the old joke, like, yo, when somebody fucked up, they were like, yo, you should see the other guy. But they fucked up, like. That's kind of how the fight was. I mean, the other person won't fucked up like that. Though, but. <laughs> so it's not how the fight was at all. <laughs> but it's the exact opposite of what you should say. No, it's it's hard Listen, to explain because she did lose again. I have a pride issue, and I know that I have a pride issue. <laughs> and fortunately, I have never got myself into a situation where I get hit like that. But that but was from one hit. I don't give a shit. It's not like it's not like um. I listen, like she got lumped y'all up. Y'all look at me in my face. I don't give a shit. If you hit me that hard, if my shit is lumped up, like I'm going to come see you after that. That's and, what and do what? I, just, you obviously can't I, beat them. <laughs> so, <laughs> you obviously can't fight them. You can't whoop their ass. You gonna shoot them? Just know, <laughs> I am going to come see you after that. Just gotta happen. Nah, see, I, that's why if I was in the UFC, I would need, I would need an entourage like uh, Khabib camp. The ones that jumped in the ring, is that what happened? They jumped in the ring. They yeah, beat yeah, Conor yeah. McGregor up. Them yeah, niggas yeah. jumped in the crowd. Yeah. Beside Drake, Drake looked like he was scared. He thought he was about to be in the mix. I'm too, I worth too much money, B. <laughs> and I feel Drake on that shit. Yeah, when I'm I mean, like, I'm not no fighter. Yeah, yeah like nigga, I'm not one of y'all niggas. Like nigga, I'm st- I am a fighter, and nigga, if I no, work, I'm talking about like oh. professional. Like these niggas no, is they, trained that's to. That's a fact too. That is definitely a fact. <laughs> like y'all niggas is trained to do this shit, nigga. Like that's probably what was going through Drake here. Like nigga, I'm not no professional fighter. Like yeah. the fuck y'all jumping over here for? That's them. Yeah, you better than me because I'm in my mind. I'm thinking, bitch, I'm worth over a hundred million dollars. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, I cut all your yeah, career yeah, short. Like, I, I, everybody, die. don't touch me. I'm cutting everybody' career short. If I get hit, just nah, know. But you kind of got to, cause that's you're gonna be a meme for the. No, you ain't even gonna be a meme. You could be a gif, gif, whatever the fuck yeah, y'all call. It's a gif, actually. Just but, know that you're gonna, because like I said earlier, it's business never personal. You just know that you're gonna have to see me in court, and then after court is over, then I get my money. Y'all niggas probably gonna disappear. The 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 money that I just got from this lawsuit it's is the money is. I'm gonna put on y'all head. <laughs> That's some wild shit. You get you sue a nigga and then use the money that you win. Want, it's not even about the money to put it on them it's niggas principal, head. It's principality, Smokey. But yeah, so um, it was yo. But jokes to the side, back to the, to the shit though. It was a great fight. It was probably definitely the fight of the night. The shit might actually win fight of the year. And it's only March. Like, that fight was that. You know how horrible lit. it has to feel for you to win fight of the year and every picture they show is your head fucked up like that? <laughs> no, and she will. No, and probably because it's a five round fight. So the first three rounds, they could argue. Can you imagine how that shit looked today? 
Yeah, because swelling usually it goes, gets, it, it, it gets, gets worse. worse. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't get better. It gets worse overnight. Yeah, because, no, <laughs> like, after the fight, when they did the interview, she tried to put the towel over to hide it. The interview nigga pulled the towel. Because <laughs> he knew that she was fucked up. Like, nah, bitch, we going to get these pictures. It's I ain't going to lie. Good I would have punched that nigga in the face. I would have just take, took the fine, bro. UFC publicity, they need it. Dog, number one. That shit is bad. Dog. Don't be like, I would have punched Joe Rogan in this shit. I wouldn't know. What I mean, I know he a big motherfucker. I know like, Joe Rogan used to do that shit, but I'm what, punching. What did she hit that bitch with? That's what I need to know. She she might have had something in her gloves. It had to be. But nah, so I mean, they were just going. She just caught her with a forehead punch. Boom! Like <laughs> she just she just punched her in the forehead. Yeah, I've been punched a lot of places, but I can't ever say that I've been punched in the forehead. <laughs> yeah, so she hit her with the forehead punch. Like the chick hit her, and she went for the the, the second shit. She dodged it. Caught it with a forehead punch, and it started as a knot, like a like a hematoma. You know what I'm saying, like a regular fucking. It started as like a regular hematoma knot, and then the shit started. It started spreading. She got brain swelling. Oh, she went to the hospital after that. Yeah, dog. Then it it, it went from a hematoma to the shit just started spreading. You was really googling words this week. This nigga on this shit, man. Fuck you, man. <laughs> But yo, fight of the night. The um out of sign your fight. I'm not gonna say it was trash because I defend Floyd Mayweather so much for being so technical. And niggas say his fights are trash. But too old. Floyd too old to be trying to knock niggas out. But that's point. what the fight was. They was fighting like so you know when two fighters respect each other, they kinda yeah. neither one of them really go in, it was that. So niggas say they was fighting like they were scared. So I mean it was so sad. Who it's, the hell is the bets are gonna hit tonight? I'm gonna start putting my bets up on Twitter. If y'all wanna follow me, you got to gamble. Say you're 80 proof. I'm gonna start putting my bets up on Twitter. But three out of four hit. I'm usually about 75 percent for the night. And I mean, the fourth you, one. At least you get some usually, money. But there's usually like four other games that I pick in my head, and out of those, like two or three of those are hit. Yeah. So I just I always pick the wrong one for my parlay for the fourth one. At least you get some bread, right? A little bit. I mean, it ain't what you what you would wanted to get. Not but. on the parlay. Yeah, the parlay is paid the big money. Yeah. yeah, the single game bets keep me alive. But nah, um, yeah, the Adesanya Romero fight it was underwhelming as fuck. I was I was a little disappointed just as a fight fan because I thought they I thought one of them motherfuckers was gonna knock the other one out because it's like these like two of the best in their weight class at what at what they do. So, fuck that respect shit. Fight niggas. Yeah, like, we, but no, it was like it won't. It won't respect like yo. Um, oh, I respect you. I don't want to hurt you. It was respect like yo. If I get too close, yeah, this yeah, nigga might he, do. Yeah, he yeah, might knock me the fuck out. And that's what it was. And then yeah, because at the end of the fight, Adesanya was like, yeah, um, you see what I did to his legs. Like, nigga, fuck his legs. You ain't do shit else to the rest of this nigga. You kicked him in the legs a couple of times, and they were some crazy kicks. But it was like. Nigga, the shit didn't do nothing. So he won on the at the on decision on the technical standpoint. So outside of that, I don't give a fuck about the fucking that fucking fight. Can't believe y'all Dolph retired. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at the agenda like I don't even believe you put this shit on here. <laughs> because no, I mean it's content. It's, it's it's a lot of people that fuck with him. So um speaking of sports. Big, 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 big motherfucking shout out to Allen Iverson. Yeah, man. Home and Reebok. Can't forget them because they... They paying that man for life. Paying him for life. And they also paying all the motherfucking seniors for Bethel High School... Upgrade your home fast and save. This is Free installation for 54 on all carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and lamb. I was so really confused. I was like, we got <laughs> We usually have conversations about what we have clips of and shit like that. So I'm confused, like, so we got a clip of Alan Iverson and the Reebok shit? Like, when did that happen? <laughs> they playing hardwood vinyl no, no, commercials. It was the link, the, the the shit so I can read off of it and it was an ad. And I couldn't mute this shit. It was one of them. Th- I don't understand why y'all companies have ads that you can't skip a mute. Like 
If I'm gonna buy the shit, I'm gonna buy it. If I'm not, I don't give a fuck about it. Like that shit's stupid. This is why we need engineers and people to do this shit. We for definitely, us. we definitely do. Um, but nah, the scenes at Bethel High School in Hampton got a special surprise on Wednesday morning. During an assembly, Reebok announced each student in the class of 2021 will have their college application fees covered. Nigga, I'm applying to every college in the nation. Facts. <laughs> Just to see if maybe I could possibly get accepted. Let's let's be realistic though. Would, would they probably put a cap on that number? Oh yeah, because they know it's niggas like me in that school. Which I'm gonna get in somewhere. <laughs> It's niggas like me in that nah, school. You, I mean, even then, you still got to be real. I mean, it's a good thing they did not, you know, they didn't have to do that. But you can't apply to some places you can get into, but then you can't afford. <laughs> yeah, they said the funny shit, though, because I it's just because it's Chuck. So it's just like, I know he was all cool, but they said all this nigga said was, what's up, y'all? I got Reebok to color, cover your college application fees, so sky's the limit. <laughs> The nigga said that shit like, like he like Reebok said he was coming first year tuition. But that was it though. He said that was that was the whole message. He sent the video message and said, "What's up, y'all? I got Reebok to cover your college application fees, so sky's the limit. Don't let nothing stop your dreams." And that was the whole video. Man, you know that's some bullshit. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about all this whole situation, like it sound good, but nigga, Bethel probably got what. We'll say a a high number of five hundred seniors, which is probably not that, just because it's not that huge of a school. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But we'll say five hundred seniors, right? Application fees, what thirty dollars? Nah, that shit like ninety. Application fees for college are like ninety. I looked it up. That shit like some of them reach up to like ninety. The average is like fifty dollars, like fifty to like. So between like 50, 50 and like sixty dollars, but the like I mean between fifty and seventy five, but like the the schools that you would want to go to, it's like ninety. I mean, so if you were applying for like six or seven different schools, that shit is actually a good look. Is Reebok covering six or seven schools though? <laughs> Probably. Not. I mean, we don't know how many. I mean, shit. Even if they so, what you do if they cover maybe two or three? You send those applications to the shits that you wouldn't be able to normally afford to send the application That's to. That's probably what happened. We were probably like, look, we got 10 grand. There's <laughs> <laughs> definitely more than that. But if you do the math, it really doesn't have to be for them to apply to two or three schools. But yeah. So 500 this is- seniors on the, uh, on the high end. You let them apply to two schools? No, I think it's, I think it's more. But hold on. Here go um, Allen's. <laughs> Upgrade your home fast and save free installation. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> oh, I can't stand him. I hate him. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm, what else we have to talk about? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here go the real. I become sad because of this Clippers lost. Fuck the Clippers. Nah, nah. <laughs> she gave me a head. Here go the real uh, video. Yo. I got Reebok to cover your college application fees, so the sky's the limit. And you're going to get a new pair of kicks, so don't let nothing stop your dreams. Oh, you let us, you left a new pair of kicks out? They, yeah, didn't yeah. So the they didn't say that in the, in the shit I was reading. They didn't say nothing about the kicks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's fire. My nigga, if, I'm not if they're telling me we getting free kicks and it's not Iverson's, I don't, I'm going I'm to be mad. What the fuck else the Reebok got? Um, besides the old shacks, the kamikazes. I was the kamikaze. Besides the old shacks, yeah, but the like kamikazes was fire. What the fuck else could they give me that I'm gonna uh, want to wear? Yeah, I can put on a pair of Reebok classes. I'm cutting grass in them <laughs> shits. <laughs> I'm cutting grass in anything. That's you disrespectful, not- <laughs> yo. Don't disrespect Reeboks like that, fam. But then you know how many fights I got in in, in school growing you know up because I had no fucking the bubble gum bottom fucking Reeboks, nigga. It's because it was the bubble gum, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? Nah, nah, nah. My you, girl, no, my you girl, was out of, you was out nah, of nah, my parents. girl cousins nah, had. Okay, we had the solid shit. No, nah, we had nah, the, uh, you, <laughs> nah, my girl cousins had the bubble gum shit. It's though. okay, B. I ain't gonna lie though. I wanted to like I ain't you know back in the day. I wanted to. That's I thought, okay if you had I more. Thought, no, I thought the bubblegum shit was a hype uh-huh. back in the day. I know. So I mean, that's why you had them on. I was like eight. No, nah, I didn't. Okay, my my pops <laughs> went with that shit. <laughs> now I know why though. But 
I know why my pops won't get in us to shit spray. <laughs> they used to be mad. Like, don't put them goddamn. You ain't getting them goddamn shoes. You ain't got to lie to me, B. We still nah. cool. Nah, you know one thing about you know it. Niggas say some shit, you start joking them. And then you be like, nah, <laughs> nigga, nah, what I really meant was. Niggas get serious. Yeah, it's okay, B. Niggas start telling you their real life story and shit. It's okay if you had the bubble gum classics. Nah, <laughs> one thing about it though, nigga, my pops had us. I was we was the I was the first nigga that had the Hersey Hawkins. The who? Don't act like you don't know who the fuck Hersey Hawkins is, my nigga. From this. I don't, man. It's maybe because I'm a little intoxicated. That's wild. That's you or me. Me. But nah, dog. Hersey Hawkins so from the fucking um, man, from the Supersonics, man. Hersey Hawkins, Sean Kemp. Oh, How the yeah, fuck yeah, you not? Yeah, okay, I'm fuck you I'm not tripping, know who I'm Hersey tripping, Hawkins I'm is, I'm bro. Tripping, I'm tripping. Sean Kemp, Hersey Hawkins, them niggas was a dynamic duo that couldn't beat Jordan. That was actually the first jersey I got, the Sean Kemp jersey. The reversible shit to the shit was fire. Dog, that nigga, um, Sean Kemp was a motherfucking. That nigga was a beast, man. <clears throat> but yeah, um, so what's next? Oh yeah, um, the next Deion Sanders. That he's uh he announced that um they're gonna do a HBCU combine, HBCU only combine. That's fire. The only question is how many NFL teams or scouts are actually gonna show up for it. But that's a fire concept. Probably as many as that showed up to fucking Kaepernick shit. <laughs> Not the one that they set up for him, but the one that yeah. he actually threw. That is wild ass theory though. And I don't know if we ever talked about it, but I need another point. Um you know, they say roughly about seventy percent of D one football athletes are black. Right? Of course. So if all those black athletes stop going to these other colleges, and, I, and again, I'm not against it because I just like college I've, football. So I've, I've been said it. Like you stop going to these these college colleges and they all go to HBCUs. Yeah, no. When I was cool. on my fake stay woke shit. Yeah. Like, when I was on my fake stay woke it's shit, I was I was definitely saying that. Um, well, I ain't gonna say it was fake because I really believed it at that time. Yeah. So no, I mean, I was definitely saying that. Um, all the fucking college athletes should go to only HB, only HBCUs, yeah. and that. And I still believe this to this day that BET on Saturday morning should show H fucking BCU games. They definitely should. Like I still don't understand why that doesn't happen. They definitely should. Like whatever the two um, top HBCU teams that's playing that day, but, that day, that should be on BET every Saturday. But morning. what is going to happen is it's going to force ABC, NBC, all these places that are selling these college games to funnel their money towards HBCUs. <laughs> yeah, they had no choice because that's where all the athletes are, like all yeah. the star athletes. Or seventy percent of your so, yeah. In theory, it'll work. How long would it take to actually do? Years. I mean, it's at least five. At, it's at the minimal. Only because of incentive, because you got to think. It's like I got motherfucking Alabama that everybody knows. Yeah. Motherfuckers in Russia know who Alabama is. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Or I can go to Norfolk State, and I'm gonna play at the same level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm playing, playing against the same level motherfuckers. But you are if you bring. I mean, if everybody, if, if everybody, everybody does it, yeah. Everybody but it's everybody like, all right. So I'm playing at the same level, but I can, I can be on fucking national TV every week at Alabama, or I can be at the same level and and be just as nice yeah. Yeah. and probably dominate more until more people, more competition come at fucking Norfolk State. Yeah, I'm saying it would it would probably take at a minimal. I said five earlier, which is a short number. I was wrong. It'll probably take at least a minimal seven years. Yeah. Because if you start with, let's say that you convince all the class of two years from now, because a lot of these niggas are committing early. Yeah. So you convince the class two years from now. You got to convince everybody after them. So that'll take, you know, roughly four to five years, five to six years to get everybody in there. Yeah. And you got to give, you know, years for the fucking big companies to catch on as to what's going on, what's happening, why the fan base is dying, why they're not making the money. Yeah. So it'll take, realistically, in my eyes, probably a decade. But is it doable? Yeah, I think it's doable. It's definitely and doable. It's just, it's you got to find uh, everybody. Everybody has to be committed to that cause and everybody's not because they want to take care of themselves, which I completely understand yeah. and agree with. And then you already have this shit that's being set in stone about College athletes finally starting to be able to get endorsements and shit, which is going to change a lot of shit next season. It should. 
Um, so with the endorsements and all that, most of these big name colleges are definitely going to be trying to get these other fucking, because now it's, it ain't going to be about no fucking scholarships. Mm-mm. It's like, nigga, I'm nice. I'm about to get Nike to cut me a check. Facts. Fuck your scholarship. Like I'm in college, nigga. I, can, I don't need your scholarship no more. So now it's like, as they should. They they cutting out the the fact of needing these schools to get to the platforms they need to be on. As they should. But um, hold on. Here, here go what Deion Sanders said. What I got to tell you, baby. I got to tell you. HBCU. Guess what? Baby, we got HBCU combine. The NFL is presenting a HBCU combine March the 27th through the 29th at the Miami Dolphins Complex. Yeah, 50 players chosen from your coaches and whomever at your universities will be invited, all expenses paid, to compete, man, to compete. So you ball and you get that call on draft day, man, I'm excited. You know why? Because I'm going to be there. And I'm calling some of my homies that came from HBCUs in our Balling. I mean, Hall of Fame guys, some guys that's in the NFL's 100, some guys just flat out ball. It was all pros. They were pro bowlers, or they just balled in the league at that. Man, this is a blessing, and I'm proud, and I'm happy. Troy Benson, I thank you from the NFL, Tracy Perlman, Roger Dell, everybody who helped on this endeavor. Hey, man, I'm excited to be a part of this. HBCUs, you're having your own comeback. So I cannot wait to see you get down because I know and I believe in you. I know there's somebody out there that's going to ball out. And on draft day, when they ball, they're going to get the call. Might as well be you, baby. Get ready. Start working. You, baby. Because you're going to ball and you're going to get that call. HBCUs, it's up. So, um, here's the issue. Sound good, right? But say the top black NFL prospect like Chase Young is this year gets a call <clears throat> next year. They say we got the call this year and said, "Hey, we want you to come do the NFL Combine," or "Hey, we want you to come do the HBCU Combine." But no, that's what he said. So Roger Goodell and all of them is in on it's, it's a separate combine. So they they picking the fifty top. Um, players from HBCUs, and it's it's going to be a separate combine. I mean, I guess it's it's a new concept. I like it. So that's what he said. Wanna, yeah. Fucking yeah. Um, I don't want to sound like negative a person because I, I definitely wouldn't, and I'm glad they're doing it. Yeah, I mean, he said Roger Goodell is in on it, and I mean, not that. I just that hope fucking, like I, said, I, I just hope they can get the scouts and stuff out there to see it. That's the whole thing because Roger Goodell be on a lot of shit that he don't fucking follow up on, so it don't really matter. I would he can give the green light and never give a fuck about it again after he fucking tell him, yeah, go ahead and do it. So I would probably even be more in on it if kind of force their hand. Yeah. So you do the HBCU combine before the regular NFL combine. You force a scout from all 32 NFL teams to be there. Yeah, make them the same weekend. Yeah. No, make do, no, do it the or weekend the, before. Yeah. Uh, no, do it a couple weeks before. Which, or maybe two. Force all 32 NFL teams to have a scout there. And force all 32 of them to pick a player to send to the regular NFL combine. And see how they stack up against. You know what I'm saying? And if they happen to pick the same people, then it won't necessarily be 32. But if you know what I'm saying, they can all agree on a lot of people that, that deserve to go, let them give it a shot in the NFL combine. Yeah. So, I mean... I don't know. I think it's um. I think it's gonna end up being a good idea. <clears throat> we'll see. So, final topic before we get the fuck out of here, because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Did you see this uh the honey pot situation with Target and the? Yeah, I did. I did, and I don't remember her name, but salute her. I don't know how she got Target on board with it, and to play the, to play the race car with it is perfect marketing. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful marketing. I mean, cause I mean, I ain't gonna say she's playing a race car, cause it's like these motherfuckers. Uh, they started wilding, like putting up fake like 
one star reviews and shit just to break her shit down yeah. just because I guess the commercial was saying like, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, it's a black owned business yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously they cater to black people. But I'm saying even from the jump, bringing the fact that it's a black owned business into the commercial is a marketing move. Oh, facts. Which is, again, genius because it worked out. I don't think they necessarily expected the reaction to go the way that it did. They I did. expected the black people to just be behind it because it was a black owned business. I did, though, because it's like, all right. So the the weird shit about it is I'm I'm going to stop saying white people. I'm going to just start addressing them as white America. So white America will say that black people play the race card and then wild out and do the most vindictively racist shit just to spite you and then call you a racist and that's the reason why they did the shit. White America plays the race card too, especially those in business. Because it's oh, yeah. smart. Because it's like, all right. And it's okay because it's smart as long as you, you know what you're getting into. It's a difference between being a coon and somebody being like, hey, look, yeah. if we present it like this to the people, it's going to make this happen. And it's because you're black. And be like, okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I mean, but the shit trickles down. It's like every time anything great or semi-great happens for black people and it's like maybe black catered. For some reason, white people feel like they have to have some kind of inclusion into it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, white America feels like they have to have some kind of inclusion. But they got all kind of shit that we never been included in. And it's just it just is what it is. Like, I remember we had the the, the black dude from England or wherever he from. I'm sorry if he not from England, wherever the fuck Mm -hmm. in the first Star Wars. (laughs) They was mad. <laughs> and that shit is a fucking movie. It's a fucking movie about aliens and shit. Like, it's a fucking movie. This shit ain't real. Talk to me, brother Umar. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but no, so they, it was a big outrage, and they were talking about boycotting the shit because it was a black person, and he was a stone. Like, you know, it ain't that fucking serious. They didn't want Idris <clears throat> Elba to be fucking James Bond. I mean, I didn't either. Exactly. So, like, <laughs> I mean, I was kind of with them on it. <laughs> Y'all, niggas is sensitive too. It's a combination. I was, of I was with them on the interest. James shit, Bond is like, white. James Bond has always been white. James Bond should always be yeah, white, like, and it's okay. It's certain shit like, all right, I don't want a black Batman. I'm cool. I'm cool on having a black Batman. I still have really yet, like, I kind of watch here and there, but I still have really yet to watch the black little kid Spider Man because Spider Man wasn't black. That like, shit was fired up, and it's okay. It's the, I heard, I heard the if, movie was if, good. If you watch it, you'll see why it's cool that he was black. If you watch it, you will see why. Because okay. I don't want to spoil it for the motherfuckers who ain't seen it, even though the shit been out I know that shit last years, year. So you're not I'm spoiling, spoiling that shit. shit. Yeah, like, so it's it's the Spider Verse. It's it's like five different Spider Man. So the actual Peter Parker's in the movie. So oh, he's just okay. a that, version of Spider Man. He just a black one. That I can probably. They got do. a pig one. They got a girl Spider Man. Actually, and they I think show, it was, okay. So that makes sense. Uh, and I it was understand. like a robot Spider Man. So yeah, that I can understand. But no, so but every little thing That's like since the beginning of the time, even from Black Wall Street, we had our own Black Wall Street. Nigga, they bombed yeah. that shit. It was like, oh, these niggas trying to get money. Throw a bomb over there. Yeah, we gonna burn that shit down. That's a fact. So it's like I don't, I don't understand why white America gets mad when black people try to do something to uplift themselves and get themselves out of the fucked up position, and then pull the race card when we say, yo, y'all trying to spite us for doing it. You know who has the answers to that? Umar Johnson. You sound like Dr. Umar Johnson. Just a little rant. Brother Polite? <laughs> <laughs> one, one of them niggas got the answer, bro. Though neither one of them niggas had an answer. Yada. I'd rather call. Yada? You call it Yada? I call Ja Rule. <laughs> Rock call. You know what Dave Chappelle said? Get Ja Rule Get Ja Rule on the phone. Get Ja Rule on the phone. But nah, so, I mean, it was, it went to the point where they said, like, because the commercial said something about it being a black-owned business, they went to the point of being so mad that she just said it was black-owned and black-catered that they started giving this woman a one-star review. But do you know this? And the product was so good that they was leaving one star but the people was like in the comments, they was like, yo, this is a really great product, actually. But they was leaving a one fucking star review just despite the shit. It worked in her favor. Oh, yeah. Her sales went up like fucking 300%. She sold out every fucking way. Yeah. I'm so, so fucking happy for her about that. Exactly. So to answer both of your questions. Beatrice so, Dixon. I want to say her name. Please. I want to say her name. Please. Beatrice Dixon. Thank you. 
Um, one to answer your question, we'll never fucking know why. Nobody's ever figured out in the history of man why. It's just what. It's not even just white America. It's and I don't. When I say white people, I don't mean all white people, but the history of white people, even back to Europe, they just took over shit. Yeah. What is with you and these random sound bites? It's today? nothing. It's nothing. Go ahead. Keep talking. Oh. <laughs> keep going. But they just take over shit that's not theirs and make it theirs and make it profitable. Yeah. Um. But so we'll, we'll never really necessarily understand why or as much as I would love to say that one day we'll be able to stop it. And we might not be able to stop it. No, um, we won't because they still control the majority. Yeah, so <laughs> what you got to do is in situations like that, learn how to use it in your favor. Just yeah. like just like she did, like them the reactions and what they try to do, you use that as leverage, and yeah. that's what is it's hard to do. I'm not saying it's easy to do by any yeah, means. yeah, no, no, it's it's, it's not easy. That's and I also feel like um, if you make it, even first though, of all, you have to make it to that level. Let's, let's be realistic. There, niggas out here making twenty two thousand dollars a year, talking about the white man keeping them down. No, nigga, you're keeping yourself down. Like, <laughs> like you're they, not, yeah, you need to apply somewhere even, else. They're like, not even looking yeah. at you, fam. It's not the white man. It's you. But no, um, I also feel like um, even though her product sold out and that's great, I feel like every black pro platform that's pro black should put her up, like give her an interview, something. Why not? Give her a chance she to promote. Like, should. yeah, why not? But um, at this point, she doesn't. She doesn't need it. And if I was her, I'd probably really sit back and look like, so y'all want to come to me? All y'all black platforms want to come to me now that I've already blown up. Why? Yeah. And in case y'all wondering, this is the 15 second promo that shook fucking white America up. My name is Beatrice Dixon. I'm the founder of The Honey Pot. To have a retailer like Target see you and believe in you is everything. The reason why it's so important for Honey Pot to do well is so the next black girl, she could have a better opportunity. That means a lot to me. You know what happened? And that's what they got mad at. Let's be, all right, so peep game, right? That's what, that's what they was mad at. It didn't even fucking matter because Target had already signed her. Oh yeah, she was good at that point. When Target, oh, yeah, was, this commercial came when, like after her product was already yeah, on the shelf. When Target was like, "Yeah, we'll be your vendor. That's fine. Or we'll, we'll purchase your product." Product was already on she the shelf. Cool, but then somebody at Target in white America, which like, is like, "Yeah, we should spend money or, and give her a commercial." No, they was like, "Look, we're gonna make a commercial, and we need you to say that it is for black people. Oh like, yeah, it is for but, black no, women. It is for black. It ain't businesses. even it's for and black. the crazy shit. She didn't say nothing about it, no other it, race. She just said so. The next." Black, matter of fact, let me just run, run it back, that, run it back, run that fucking, I'm gonna run that run part back. back. That little Beatrice Dixon, I'm <laughs> well. And so the next black girl, she could have a better opportunity. They say, that means a lot to me. If My name on, is Beatrice say, Dixon. I'm the founder of the Honey Pot. One more time. To have a retailer like Target see you and believe in you is everything. The reason why it's so important for Honey Pot to do well is so the next black girl, she could have a better opportunity. That means a lot to me. And when I say that, when I say what I'm saying, I'm not necessarily saying that. She doesn't really believe that in her heart. Yeah, like, she might have really came to these people and be like, "Look, this is why I'm doing this." Yeah, and I want were, the next. And somebody in marketing was like, "Yo, that's fire! If you yeah. get out there and say that you're doing it for the next black girl to have a bigger opportunity than you, they're gonna eat it up." No, because so I'm what a- they expected was they expected the black women community to eat it up. Which, yeah, which they would have and, in its own right. And I'm gonna be honest because I see a lot of, especially like black women that's near and dear to me personally. Mm-hmm. And even just on social media, a lot of them feel unappreciated. Yeah. A lot of them feel because yeah. they feel like they go to bat for themselves. They go to bat for black men. Yeah. They go to bat for other women of other colors. That's a fact. And they, a lot of black women feel like no, niggas don't go to bat for them. Yeah. I do. And like I don't it. mean niggas yeah. like black men because we not niggas. But I mean niggas as a whole. Like people don't go to bat for black women. It's like, oh, oh yeah, she on her own or this, da, da, da. So it's like. It's like them against the world, but they also motherfucking going to bat for everybody else. Yeah. They being everybody else backbone, but they don't have nobody to motherfucking be their backbone. So it's like, damn, at what point do we motherfucking get some kind of protection and love and fucking favoritism from somebody at some point? You know what I'm saying? So look at feminist. I see yeah. Bro, I'm not no feminist. I told you I got four <laughs> sisters, my nigga. Like, no, I'm I'm, to, just, I'm just talking shit. I'm trying and, to and realistically, I'm trying I got to a, give yeah, an opportunity. I got a mother. I got a two nieces and a, like. I'm trying to give. Just, I, I, we I all got that. mothers. So yeah, let's be realist. But nah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. We all got mothers. Like, nah, we, we all. all have, but some people have people that just gave birth to them. No, nah, that's so. a fact. That's a fact. But you, um, you know. But now I'm saying, but 
know what I'm saying? But the crazy nah, shit is so if, I, if look, you start yeah, talking about some women's rights shit, because like I said, nigga, I got nieces that I, I see every day. Mm-hmm. That's like daughters to me. You know what I'm saying? Like when you want a better world for them, niggas start acting like you a simp or some shit. Like, nigga, I still beat you up. Like <laughs> I can still fight my nigga, but I won't. Niggas like you that feel that way. Out of shape. You the niggas I don't want around my fucking niece out and my shape, and my sister. Sure my gun healthy. Oh, shout out to J the top five dead or alive. Hey, long as I can lift up four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, long as I can curl four pounds, I don't need to work out. But yeah, so I mean, it's just like I understand it, but it's just like, I feel like it. white America, not white people. But here's what they because there's gonna be some white people that's like, well, I'm white and I don't feel that way. White America. This made Need shit. To tighten up. It took, you know, the typical black women support that she would have gotten from that commercial by itself. When they started mm-hmm. doing that one star review bullshit, it made people that were like, "Hey, I don't even really give a shit about this product, but I'm about to go buy it because yeah, these, I'm about to go buy these white people tripping. I'm about to go buy one <laughs> yeah, of everything, everything that she's selling just because I might never use it. I might give it to my niece yeah, or nephew, but, but guess what, nigga, one. I'm gonna go buy one of everything. So it usually, if we can learn how to work it, 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 we can definitely work in our favor. I don't think it. I wish it's a problem that we can solve. I don't necessarily yeah. think it's a problem that we will ever be able to. I solve. mean, we can, but I'm not gonna get into it because niggas is really gonna think I'm Umar Johnson. It would take a lot of time. <laughs> it would take a lot of time. And we already at the end of. We already at the end. And so. It would take millions and millions of people to be on one accord, and it's hard to get me. It's hard to get four niggas on one accord. Yeah. Let alone millions of people on one accord. So. Niggas is only getting on one accord if it involves some money or some pussy. And even then, it's not always. And I was going to say, because even with money, niggas want, some niggas might yeah, want a little more. Like, just, it doesn't always work out as well as you want it to. Like, you like, yo, it makes sense for all four of us to get 25%, no, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I feel like I should get 30. Because I did what I was supposed to do. And he should actually get 20, because he don't, he ain't do as much as me. But, but yeah, that's, that's it, man. Any um, thoughts for the week? Before we wrap up, um, <laughs> if you're gonna gamble, <laughs> take single bets as well as the parlay, because you usually feel good about. Stop trying to cover spreads. Yeah, stop trying to don't cover. Look, that's also a big thing. Stop trying to cover spreads. Just take the money line. It is okay to just take the money line. Because the teams on the floor don't give a fuck about a the spread. They just want to win. Nah. They don't give a fuck they if it's by one point yeah, they don't or 20. Shit. And they definitely don't give a fuck that you just yeah. threw 500 up for the they game. They don't give a goddamn <laughs> at all. <laughs> fuck the Portland Trailblazers. And don't. they definitely don't care that, that they're the one game that they fucked the parlay up on. At all. Out of a five-game parlay. <laughs> fuck the Portland Trailblazers. Don't bet on them. The Pelicans, did, did the no, Pelicans, the Pelicans is tough, money. The Pelicans, okay. been, they they've through. been on, they've been on, they've been on. So it's all love with them today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Pelicans <laughs> been on this shit the past couple. Um, I ain't even get on. I ain't even get on my shit today. I need to my, get back my, to my it. gambling bets. Yeah, straight up, <laughs> take take some straight games. Also take the parlay too in case the straight games. I know you play. hurt because usually you would have some positive shit to say. Um, you telling niggas not to take the. <laughs> <laughs> take bets. Don't don't gamble on the Portland Trailblazers. Don't get your Michael Jordan no. <laughs> Keep your gambling to yourself. The Charlotte Hornets are going to cover whatever the spread is in the first corner. On the other side, so go for the other team. No, 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 no. Pick, nah, no. let me, <laughs> Say, no, I, I, Look, I, these are the ones that I'm telling you that nah, I know. <laughs> the ones that I nah, Charlotte, in my soul. Charlotte's not that bad. No, not Charlotte. No Charlotte is bad in the the second through the fourth quarter. <laughs> in the first quarter though, Charlotte is money. It, it, nah, that's a fact. Go check the stats. I never paid it no mind, but now that you said that, I, I that's the yeah, Charlotte will I run the that. score up on you in the first quarter. So, and then uh, still some find a way to lose by find a way to lose. Yeah, so <laughs> they're gonna lose by that first quarter. They're gonna be up by whatever the spread is. Them niggas might beat you in the first quarter. It might the score might be forty two thirteen, and they're gonna they're lose gonna by lose thirty. Them. And it's okay <laughs> by the fourth quarter. The Portland Trailblazers are trash. Um, don't take them against the spread. Yeah. Um, nah, man. Uh, stop being pussy and dirty. Like, don't is this Corona? <laughs> what is this Corona? Stop being pussy and dirty. <laughs> Them shits don't even go together. Yes, they do. And I was gonna tie it together if you let me. 
I, I, you know what? I want to hear this shit so bad. The floor is yours, my nigga. I'm not even gonna fucking. I'm not even gonna give insight into your finish. If you scared to go out and do the shit you would normally do in life, and you gotta cancel festivals and shit because of coronavirus, you pussy. It also means that y'all motherfuckers is dirty out here, and ain't nobody washing their hands and shit. <laughs> and they should have been. <laughs> Should have been lights all and shit down and shit like that. Like y'all niggas are tripping. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to find out why the fuck everybody is buying. I thought she was coming here. I was like, <laughs> I look too. I was like, who the fuck? I know they probably like, what the fuck is these niggas on? <laughs> Just don't pay us no mind. Um, I feel like. The fact that Lysol and hand sanitizer is now flying out. off the shelf, but hand soap isn't. Like, y'all still not fixing the right, fucking all right, problem. All right, wait, wait. I'm going to give you- Niggas unpopular. are still not all fixing right, shit. Listen, listen. I'm going to give you the real reason why, and no hate me if it gets us banned. Okay, right? <laughs> talk, this camera's dead, so you got to talk into this camera here. <laughs> it's just that one now. Unless that shit's not rolling no more. I hope it is. The reason why hand sanitizer, bleach, and Lysol are now flying off the shelves because of the coronavirus is because white people are catching on and they're tired of being dirty. (laughs) So, my positive thoughts for the week. (laughs) Family. Yo, they was talking about, they had a real life conversation about do you wash your legs in the shower? Like, what type of dirty shit? You're supposed to wash everything. What the fuck? No, they figured because the soap drips down your legs, it clean shit. No, that's, you just gotta scrub them motherfuckers, yo. <laughs> like, that's not how that shit works. What the fuck? It's, what, it's not some shit I made up. This was a real life conversation on Twitter. Like, yeah, so. Yeah. Um. Nah, my shit, man. Um. Especially with me, I got a lot of uh, personal things going on, my grandma and everything. And I don't know, you know what I'm saying, not to keep bringing race up, but I'm a black man. And I, I, that means, I mean, I have a black family. On a serious note, I have a, so that means my family's black. So I can only speak for <laughs> black family. So, you know, when something is going on to this degree, Rather, even if they're not passing away, it brings out the worst in black families. Like, I don't know how that shit does white families because I don't fucking have none. Um, But it's like people forget that family is everything. And especially when there's somebody like a grandma or a great grandma or maybe that aunt that's like a grandma to everybody because she's like the oldest aunt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which is what my grandma is to the rest of the family that's not her grandchildren. It's like family is everything. You know what I'm saying? No money, no fucking possessions, no nothing can ever replace the soul and the physical being of that person. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And not even that person. It's like your cousins and shit that unless they fucking, unless it's really some, like a serious situation where y'all don't talk no more, like family is everything. Like y'all need to. I ain't saying you got to talk to them every day, but you got to ask yourself, like, if if such and such person in my family died tomorrow, how would I feel about how our position is today? So it's like, yo, if you don't fuck with them and they die tomorrow and you feel like, okay, that's 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 what it is. But if you feel like, yo, all right, um, if such and such died tomorrow, I would probably feel shitty because we never had such and such conversation. And you should probably have that fucking conversation with them. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I know we all got lives. We all, you know, we all grown now. We got lives. A lot of us got families. You got five minutes in a day, though. Yeah. That's it. Like, even if it's 45 seconds, yo, I just want to holler at you, do do do. Yo, what, whatever we was on is some, is some bullshit. Yeah. We don't even got to talk out of this conversation, but I love you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I know we all grown. We got families and... I know I don't see my family as much as I probably could. Because mm. it'd be sometimes where I'm really not doing nothing and I probably sit at the crib and play 2K or sit at the crib and watch and watch fucking game or something. And I can watch that shit at my cousin's house or my, you know what I'm saying? Games. That's what, 
Nah, but <laughs> I'm with you. But yeah, so it's like I feel like we should we can all just reach out. I ain't saying you got to reach out every day and you got to motherfucking start kissing family's ass that did you wrong or no shit like that. But like I said, if you feel like, ask yourself if the person that you haven't really been talking to in your family, if they was to pass tomorrow, how would you feel? If you would feel shitty that y'all never had a conversation, you should probably go ahead and have a conversation with them. And that's it. So... I, can't, I ain't got I ain't got no smart ass shit to follow it up with. I probably put I probably fight you if you follow that up with some smart shit because that's oh, fucked I, up. I can think of some shit. <laughs> it's, it's but even me. though I got like a little corner, I guess we can we oh, can toast my out. Cup and is empty. You don't have nothing. You can toast again. This is some bullshit. Salute, brother. And we out.